what's good what's good we're back and playing to fishing welcome back y'all to another weekend stream i'm late my apology for that but hey man we're here today so let's do it uh i'm heading to the congo today just to you know enjoy our fishing is right now as you guys can tell by the title of the stream you know things will be changing in a few i can't say when i can't say how but so far this is what i know with the drag being changed the reeling system being changed and so on so right now fishing plant is in a state where it's just been for years now where it's just reeling hooks at but now things gonna be changing so with that said i'm going to the, i'm going to the congo to just enjoy it for the time being aiden aiden welcome to the stream man all right let's do this and once more my apology for such a late stream today you know Wait, one more, one more uh, fish we need yeah I might do this after fishing you know Yeah, we can do those after. Not right now. You know, in the past, I've heard players complain how easy it is to catch fish in fishing planet. I wonder when the update comes out, full, like finally and fully to the game, what will they say about things being changed up, you know? Longer time to get the fish in, stuff like that. This will be changing, man. Hopefully, it changed for the better, not for the worse, you know. Okay, we're not going straight after the Nile Perch today or Tigers. I'm in for a good fight, you know. Oh, that's what you can do right here. Peach check. I mean, I can fish this day right here. Nothing is wrong with it. No more max drag, man. That's crazy. I think I might put one here and one for nice perch. Yep, that will work. Yo, Tony, what's good, bro? Welcome to the stream, man. You know what? Let's change this bait to, like, catfish bait. Let me try to use cut bait for now. I don't think I'll be using mattress here. Not this close, by the way. It's too uh too much current is in this area right there, and uh, we can't cast too far either with these. So, yep, not optional right now. On short, hello. Maybe I come back later if I have time. All good, man. I appreciate you stopping by. You know. <clears throat> now let's change this thing around no shots right now I 
Right, that's the way it's. I prefer fish to midday for catfish when I'm grinding. What time, man? It doesn't matter, you know? If you're fishing with the right bait, right spot, things can happen. Let me change this one right here. And to everyone tuning in the stream right now, welcome to the stream, man. And there might be other options today for me to go to different maps. So who knows man, you know. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Yo, Ethan, what's good bro? Welcome to the stream bro. Oh, just had a bite right there. When last I've been to the Congo? I think it might have been a month now. Oh, we lost another fish right there again. How you been? I've been good, you know. I've been doing okay. How about you, bro? I wish they give us beta as well to test on PlayStation, you know. I wish they did, so we can see if the the update will be compatible with place or uh, not PlayStation only, but you know console overall. Let me rephrase that. I wish they give console players better testers too. You know. Good to hear. Doing pretty good. Yes, sir. So how is the day going so far, man? And Otto, what's good, bro? Welcome to the stream, man. Just caught a carp in real life. How big was it? Yeah, so in today's stream, we're going to start off slow. You know, we're not going to jump straight into the cat, not the catfish, the night perch action or the tiger fish. You know, we're taking it slow today and just to enjoy how easy it is to actually reel and hook a fish when it comes down to fighting them. You know. No much pressure being added, just sit back and reel him in. As I said before, the beta testing is over and uh, fishing mechanics are changed, and so on. Max drug is gone. You guys better enjoy the game how it is right now, you know. Appreciate how easy it is when you do hook a fish, how to fight them. With this new mechanism coming bro it's gonna be taking maybe more than 20 minutes to fight a fish now depends on the size of the fish you know but then again it's a beta test and so you never know what can change it's not finalized fifteen pounds oh nice one bro So no more just old and real fish anymore, bro. You gotta do this right. You gotta put the work in it, you know. Even the boat is that, is that long. I've not seen the boat fishing on the beta testing videos, but I've seen videos where players are standing right and uh, showing you how the reel is gonna be now. <laughs> I know players gonna complain. I know they're gonna complain, man. Because it's something it's been in the game, right? But no one's been using it. The retrieval. Because it got an easier way. But I know players gonna be complaining because they're not used to it. And trust me, it's gonna take used to. It's gonna get uh take time for you to get used to it. But I think it's gonna be okay, bro. You know? It's more realistic 
in that way and even if you if your drag can be maxed out you can't so it's there's no more turning that max drag up to the full full notch you know no way Yo, why am I getting so many bites but not talking them? Yo, Aiden, welcome to the stream, man. My little bit to go, I got a 445 pound unit now perch. Nice one, bro. And Micah is here too. What's good, what's good? Welcome, man. Just complete all my friends chapter 10 on Disney Speed storm yesterday so you completed them on your on all your account and all your friends one hey that's crazy Micah you're doing great bro uh, I'm not really going for nothing much I'm not targeting one fish today bro anything that bites so I have a bait out there for another perch I'll bait for catfish and whatever bites you know I'm just in for the fight right now Good evening to you as well, Dutch, and welcome to the stream, man. I'm surprised you're not fishing today, you know? Taking a break. What the hell is going on down there, huh? Something is, is messing around, but I can't find out what it is. I'm, uh, it might be the oak size too big, you know? Could be. Because it do got some nice um, carnish jack here. Some nice big ones. Not big enough to, to hold on to a 14 hot hook, though. I just didn't want to switch straight to the, 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 the fast paced fish and like I'll perch or the, the tiger fish, you know? I want to do something different, man. Just, it's today's going to be a chill day, you know? As always, it's always been a chill day with Fish on Planet. But today's just going to be one of them days, you know? We were in no rush and take our time. Actually, talking about that, I think there is a a competition today at the Everglades. I might want to try. I'm not sure though. Maybe. Nope, I'm late in starting fishing planet now. Alright, where are you going, man? Where, where are you fishing today? Let me change something, guys. Yep, I'm a master of it. Yes, you are, man. With the, with the amount of accounts you got, Micah. And now completing it for your friends. You might be a pro at it, bro. Not might. You're a pro at it, you know. And uh, guys, just an heads up. You might be seeing uploads of guides coming soon, but they will be for smaller fish, you know. Not no 100 pound monster or anything like that. So I'm basically, you know, taking my time going around on different maps now. Just to finish up the smaller fish, at least some of them, not all of them. So look out for the notification and let me know what you guys think in the comment section, you know, whenever that is. I'm going for the monster. Which one? What monster fish are you going for? Eight accounts. I mean, that's crazy, bro. Marco Marco fish tooth hook. <laughs> hey, you can do it, man, you know? As long as you know the rotation spots for the BRs, bro, you're good. You can do it. Have you caught any as yet or are you just starting it? I 
I think one day I'm gonna do like a stream just finishing up every map, you know. And Gary, welcome to the stream, you know. First time seeing the stream, so welcome once more. How is the day going so far? Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch down the oxides right here. Something is going after it, but they're not uh, staying on, you know. Starting. Yes, sir. It's gonna take you a while, but you know, I think you can do it, bro. Definitely. Great, just got back from fishing. What did they catch today? What was their target species today for fishing, you know? Let's change around to 8. I don't have any 8 thought, right? Nah. Wait, yes I do. Something is down there nibbling, bro. I'm telling you guys. As I said, rather fish the day that's the mid-peak time. Sunny. But this was the first one, you know? If I really wanted to make the most out of this peak time, I would go for another perch. But that's just typical, you know, I don't want to just jump straight to that. Catfish, but just got a nice big carp. Nice. You know, someone just told me they also got a carp recently. He's fishing right now in real life. A 15 pound carp, man. Man, sometimes I wish I could go fishing, you know. To collect all the big fish before new update come sounds like a plan you know that's that's what i'm trying to do as well i'm trying to like you know get a few guides done for the smaller fish and the smaller maps you know because i don't know it's like get some things done so you won't be going back and forth you can just focus on the new update when it drops you know but at the same time, you're always going to have new players playing fishing planets. So, hey man, they're going to need the help, you know. And Ethan, I appreciate 25, bro. I'm not sure what the currency is, bro. But thank you very much, man. I appreciate it, bro. 25 super chat greatly appreciated man no I definitely gotta catch a fish right <laughs> I have been here for like an hour in game and no fish so far I have to catch one now come on this was a 21 pound mirror carp oh that's a monster bro Uh, what is the beta f what is the beta finish date i have no idea to be honest bro i just know that they're doing it right now the beta testing is going on so let's assume that in a few weeks it's going to be over and then the map will be out on pc then console bro I am often fishing, I love it. I even work in the fishing tackle shop. Angling direct. Oh, so you know everything basically when it comes on to fishing then. Tackle wise, rods, you know, baits to go with. And as I said bro, I miss fishing back home, you know. I'm not back home right now. But I guarantee if I was there right now, today Sunday, I'll be fishing like crazy. From morning to late evening, bro. I know I told y'all this story long, like a lot of times back in the days, but I have no idea how to use a fishing rod in real life. No idea, man. <laughs> 
That's crazy. I love fishing, but I never used a fishing rod before. Not once. Never. Hey, that's crazy though. Hey, what's going on with my catfish today, bro? Okay, let's change spot, guys. <clears throat> What pick turn do we have next? Hey, literally, bro, all of these peaks are practically uh, tiger fish and Nile perch. What is going on today, guys? You should go fishing, it's awesome. Oh, yes, it is, man. I do it a lot back in my days, but you know, recently things just been different. So, you know, I'm just adapting to how it is. Do not perch on the boat. Mm, sounds like a plan, to be honest, man. I do have the bait and everything. Okay, let me let me get. I was thinking that earlier, uh, Ethan. The thing is, bro, I, I just didn't want to switch straight to another perch fishing, you know. But the day I want to fish for the catfish is not here, so I might as well do what you said, bro. Go for some another perch on a boat. Okay. Switch this bait around. Yeah, I'm wondering if you can take the sea water boats uh, here at the Congo, you know. Imagine fishing here with your friends in a boat because that should be a possibility. That's what I said at least, you know Also, there is this new thing where you can share baits now with your friends, but it's still whack, bro I think you can only share like red worms or something like that, you know, but it's only one I think I've seen comments on videos where viewers are saying yo, that's still whack, you know in my opinion, it is. So hopefully they can fix it where they can give more baits than just one. But keep in mind, bro, it's a better test. So nothing is nothing is actually fixed, you know? Things will be changing. Can't play together though, since mom is using the using it watching Netflix. All good man. There'll be a lot of opportunity for you guys to fish with me, you know. Can't wait for the new ocean map. Oh yeah. You know, I think we got this update like uh, a couple weeks, maybe a month ago. And let me just say man, the hype is still here. You know. It's taking its time, as always. You know. Players was, was was expecting it earlier. I was expecting myself earlier too. But hey, the hype about this map is still here, so we just gotta wait and hope for the best, you know. Have you tried playing Metro? Metro. Actually, bro, it's my first time hearing of that. What kind of game is it? What update? No, we're just talking about the new saltwater map, bro. And, uh, you know, the beta testing uh, things that's going on right now. It's a great game. I might want to research it now to see like the ratings, the comments on it, stuff like that, bro. Uh oh. There we go, guys. There we go. Oh, you should have been here already. And <laughs> hey, man, keep in mind, bro, the devs, like, they're 
How can I say this now? The fishing planet um producer or the community that builds it, it's not a big one, you know. So they gotta take their time to make it and you know put time in it bro. They're not a big company, if you guys will know that. Holy crap. I'll be entangled in line today, bro. The worst thing is this is a this is just a small fish right here, you know? Not a big one. And it's giving me a fight, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna lose these fish right here. Yep, he dropped it. Switch, no, those were actually smaller fish too, you know. No worries, man. It's gonna be tons of high perch today. Tons of them. Everyone think that way then, or thought that way, you know, because uh, they tweeted out the update a while back. So, you know, with that, we were expecting update to be out, but nope, it was just an update. Let us know that it's official, but not come not as yet, you know. What the hell, bro? Uh, let me just say something, man. When it comes on to the Congo, it will never be boring. The fight, the bite rates, you know, the fish here is just on a different level, man. Alright, so right here, guys, so far, what I've known or saw so far, you can't just reel like this, you know. You have to pump and then reel in the slack line. So it's like pump and reel now. You can't just reel like this anymore. Maybe you can in a certain state where the fish is just coming straight in. But when they're fighting, you have to be pumping, bro. I don't know, man. It's, it's going to be a hassle. But it's what works, you know. And as I said, it, it's been in the game. But no one, no one was using it, bro. You know, look at that crap. I lost all my fish just because of that 153 pound right there. Crazy. TJ, what's good, man? Welcome to the stream, bro. Yeah, like real life? Yes, sir. You know what I'm excited about, excited about bro? If that pumping and reeling action is in the game, imagine if they had a uh, deep drop sea fishing, bro. Where you can use that uh, jigs and st stuff like that for the deeper areas in the ocean. Oh, I'm I'm prepared for that, bro. Because if that retrieval is in the game, that then that would be really good for deep sea fishing. I'm just imagining it like real life, you know. You have your GPS thing telling you where the fish are, or you know, showing the coral reefs, or you know, where the fish are schooling, bigger markers and so on, and you just drive over them, try to deep drop fish right there, and go crazy man, you know, but who knows, I'm just imagining things right now. I think they should add the new mechanism for the saltwater map to be honest only for the saltwater map I mean I can see that possible bro I can see that you know but as I said it's a beta test so we don't know what it's going to be like it could be for that map only it could be for the entire fishing planet uh, maps I can't say for sure bro That would be a cool thing. And man, you know, sometimes you just gotta imagine and hope for the best, bro. Never done it myself, but I've seen it in the videos and it seems to be funny, you know? A lot of work, muscle aches, but uh, man, when you do get those fish from down there, you never know what's, what's gonna be that fish, you know? 
and that's what's good about fishing as well some most times you can't tell what fish is at the end of the line you know most times unless you see it first I enjoy fishing where I can't really tell what's at the end of the line you know I like fishing like that what do we have here trophy can't say man I was thinking that too yes sir gotta switch on my other device cause I'm already close to zero oh your battery is it dying oh I know why I'm catching this smaller fish guys I'm using an eight tot hook bro <laughs> I'm using the small offset hook bro no shot right no way man hey chat why y'all didn't tell me bro I'm not saying you can't get big fish on the eight tot hooks you know I'm not saying that because back in the days the biggest jig head was 8 art 3 ounces and I used to use that thing like crazy you know and it did produce a lot of fish also another thing guys so you know I'm assuming since you can't really just reel like this anymore you have to pump and reel what if when you let go of the hook set button, right? The fish can just pick the bait instantly. Because you do know sometimes when you just reel in, the line goes slack and the fish just pick the lower. It's a possibility, man. Uh oh. Well, I came here looking for some action and some good fight. And what do I get? Great action, great fight. No complaints here, bro. Let's see what this is. Yeah, I can't really tell if it's a monster or not. Oh, oh, it's picked the bait already. It's all good, though. While I'm getting this fish in, something else can be out there going for that bait. No worries, guys. We're getting some nice fish today, man. You know? And as I said, if you guys have any suggestions, I'll, I, I will be open to them, but I can't still be moving to that map same time, you know? A few days back, someone asked me to go for not uh, not night perch. What was cat uh, fish at Active River? It's still gonna be possible, but I think that's gonna be a separate stream though. Be right back, checking videos. Okay, Dutch, do your thing, man. I'm gonna be right here. Yeah, I'm definitely changing this hook size after this, bro. I will try using topper. Yes, sir. In the past, I've tried using toppers, uh, crankbaits, jerkbaits, you know. And they all worked, man. The topper, for me, though, works better for uh, tiger fish, goliaths, and African. And welcome to the stream, man. How are you doing today? Crazy, bro. Oh, look who's in chat, man. I haven't seen this guy in a long time, bro. Yo, this what's good, bro? It's been a while, man. Welcome to the stream, and Marvel, welcome to the stream as well. Does new update out? Is a new update already out? No, sir. Just been a testing right now on PC. <laughs> oh, let's change this hook size right there. Let's 
stressed. And man, that's just how life is, you know, it's a part of life. You just gotta live it out and move on when you can. It won't be easy. But don't let it hold you back. I'm doing I'm doing okay, you know. Not too good, not too bad. I'm I'm just neutral right now. Just enjoying things how it is, you know. Try to live on day by day, man. So for now I'm just chilling bro. Thanks for asking man. How long has it been though? I think last time I saw you bro. I can't really say. I know I saw you last year. That's for sure. This year? I can't really say for sure man. <laughs> I miss your voice. Hey man, I miss seeing you running the stream, you know? I'm just hoping everything's good and you're holding up, bro. I think we might want to change peak times, but not, not as yet, you know? Oh, getting some big bites right now. Come on, at least one fish before this peak time ends, you know, at least the morning one. You got you got two peaks today. One in the morning and one at the evening time. So I will not be only going for night perch today. I'm gonna stop by for some catfish too, you know. Definitely. I had a bite right there. Something might be going after that rod right there, bro. I swear it's moving like it's getting chased or something. Yeah, something is down there nibbling, bro. The rod on my left, something is going after it. Yeah, I'm getting tons of bites, but those are the smaller ones, so they can't really stay on. I had some problems, so I was gone for a, for a few months. I mean, sorry to hear that, bro. As I said, I'll to see you back, you know. Can you tell me about new updates? Honestly, not much new updates been here, bro. A few tournaments, uh, 4th of July event, which is all gone by now, you know. But a new spot for the map, that's coming really soon, I can't say when. But uh, they're going to be changing the fishing mechanism. Uh, new boats in the game going to be coming soon, where you can fish with your friends as well. The map will be in uh, some part of East China and the Pacific together. So you know it's going to be an East China map. Not sure what fish is going to be there. But all we know is going to be a saltwater map, bro. You know? No more max drag. You can't max drag anymore. So that's something new for everyone. I want to see a new mechanism. Well, the thing is, bro, only a few unpicked PC players have videos out and can access the beta. So if you want to see a live action, I would say try to start up some YouTubers who play on PC, bro. You know, and uh, then you can see the better how everything is going on. Right, let's change peak time guys we just started fishing late today you know the first hour and a half was catfish and then we switched here at like 6 30 when the peak time was almost out so no more nile perch on this day right here 
for the Christian the evening peak time and then things will be different. Yo, Mr. Crazy, welcome to the stream, man. How are you? I'm doing pretty okay, man, you know? Just chilling today, taking it easy, and uh, spending time with you guys, you know? Do you have the landing net? Nope, but I seen it in the video, man. I see it's a pretty nice net, you know? Let me just say that. I think in the video, I saw him land a fish in the in the landing net. I think it was a trophy. A big camber catfish. So I'm surprised that a big trophy like that can be held in the keep net, you know? So now we're going to have one hand, which is your right. Right hand with the rod and your left hand with the, the fish net. So when the fish is close by, you scoop him up out of the water and then that's it. So the new way of holding the fish right now is not going to be just straight in and you hold the fish with your one hand like a beast, bro. <laughs> hey man, you know, not too many big change, bro. But, you know, it's something. It doesn't have to be a big change for things to be better, you know. Something new, something different. I did not tell you I think I was gone for two years. Now, nah, maybe, maybe one or something like towards here, you know. But hey, as I said, though, I can't guarantee. If, I can't guarantee if all that's going to be in the game because it's just testing right now. They can change things. They can add new things. So I'm just telling you guys what I saw so far, and uh, it's not a hundred percent sure that's going to still be in the game. When it comes out the update i just want a new map and i just gotta put some more time in the waiting either you fish on or you play something else in the meantime you know i would like to see new fish fighting oh i can't wait to see what new fish is going to be in the game Yeah, I thought it showed a two-handed lift. I just saw like a small portion of the video, to be honest. I was actually skipping through to see the, the good parts, you know. He was explaining about the, you know, the max drag. Oh, and the twitching method too. The twitching is going to be different, bro. You see how we can go high with this thing? It won't be that active anymore. It's going to be just barely moving like that. Or something like that. It's not going to go all in the here like that, you know? That thing, I'm not going to be a fan of that though. I like my twitching to be active. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it to be just something like that. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want it like that, bro. But hey, you can't say. We just have to adapt to the new change. And just enjoy the game the way it is, bro. Oh, for the bigger fish, because there's no way that internet is gonna hold anything above 300 pounds, man. I think 200 pounds would be like the max for that. Um, even that is too big, to be honest. But then again, it's a game, so they can make it happen. I would say anything above 200 pounds will not be able to fit in the, the end net or the landing net, you know? Oh, another thing again, guys. You can now fish in lobby with your crew member or club member, you know? And you can also get XP from fishing with your club members too. So you got public, private friends only. You got, um, uh, I think it's private club members, 
club members or something like that and you got an XP bar where you can fish with your friends and get XP that way and your club members you know so that's exciting right there we need cross play bro yeah I don't think that's gonna happen bro if that was possible the amount of years this game has been out if they wanted to do that or if they could they would have done it you know but tell me something mr. crazy how many cross play games out there that you know is actually fun like and not buggy you know when it comes on to game being bugged out and so on how many games out there are just smooth running when it comes on to cross play look at GTA for example GTA is one of the the most popular game out there that majority of players loves man and uh, there's no cross platform for it it's PC Xbox or PlayStation you know Call of Duty is a mess let me just say that we're not gonna include that one that's a mess right there but so far when it comes on to cross play bro games actually get spoiled you know yes it'd be good to play with other friends on other platforms and that's the best part of it but when it comes on to game performance things will be different man back in time to roll one in the fish <laughs> 420 break hey don't you crazy man that's crazy PUBG but it's impossible to use controller against mouse and keyboard you know I used to play PUBG way back then bro on mobile first on PlayStation it's a little different you know it's, it's more it's better when it comes on to like you know uh, view wise but I do think the the mobile version is better though you know but when you say controller against keyboard and mouse what do you mean by that I don't think I've experienced that before I was a PUBG mobile king bro I have one of the Europass most rare inventories I was so addicted yeah PUBG back in the days used to be like you know the game for everyone bro reaction time oh yeah mouse and keyboard is just snappy you know they're more free to turn they're more like um agile if that makes sense you know and it's the same thing for call of duty bro the turn the the, the aiming you know the reaction time is just off the charts man so I do get what they're saying wait John is there he must be practicing for a competition talking about competition though I might participate in the competition at the Everglades it's bass fishing only hey you know what's crazy man it's that aim assist when it comes on to control it's always like you know we got better aim assist and so on but that doesn't make us better player man you know it's just correcting our aim for us when we're like getting used to it but in my opinion I don't think a mouse and keyboard player is just better you know I don't think that way what is this bro oh my god yo how long have I been fighting that fish guys <laughs> no shot
Yo, I'm back. Welcome back, bro. I have 300 hours in, in game, but I haven't tried a tournament. Should I try? I would say give it a try, bro. But do some warm up before doing a tournament, you know? Or if you feel like you're confident in your skill, you know, go ahead. It's never bad to do to try something, bro. You know, because if you don't try, you never know. You just gonna you just you just gonna be asking yourself, what if I did it? What would happen? And that's something you wouldn't know unless you do it. You know. So if you don't try something, it's gonna be a what if, a lot of what ifs. You know, wondering. I think I've done that uh, competition in the past once before, and I think I'm done to do it again, you know. It's at 2 p.m. for me right now. It's not towards yet, but um, the competition is at 2 p.m. <laughs> hey man. You can only use spinning tackles, bass jigs, and uh, I think something else. Only for large mob bass though. Oh, he's doing it? Yes, sir. I might stop by, you know? I might stop by. No worries guys, I know I haven't caught a Unicus yet, but I think this day was all messed up so far, you know. But it's gonna happen, no worries man. I'm in no rush today, just taking my time. Yeah, I'm definitely getting smoked in this competition today, bro. I don't think, I think there's only one competition ever. I've been into with the intention of winning and that's a walleye competition at St. Croix. Other competitions I've never been there and said yep I'm gonna be winning this one or you know I'm aiming for the win. I don't think I've ever done that except one. Have you ever won? Yeah I can't well I wouldn't say I won first place but I came in second place in one bro. I came second and third place. You know what? Let me register before I miss the chance to right guys. Because I'm saying yes over here, but I've not registered it as yet. Come on, straight in the boat, man. Come on, don't fight. There you go. Unique. Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, that's crazy, man. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Bass challenge. Let's see what the description is going to be like, you know, just in case it's different. In 39 minutes, for all largemouth bass, spinning tackles with bass jigs and a keep net. No rods allowed, and the have to keep the five largest fish. So basically, if not all uh, uniques, it's going to be all trophies, man. I'm just doing it just because it's, it's like new content to the stream. Now and then I will do a few uh, competitions on stream, so things will be different, you know. You guys just don't... Or it won't be just sitting there watching me doing fishing all day. Gonna see me struggle, complain, and uh, you're wondering how our players catching so many fish back to back, you know? Something different, man. Let me just say that.
there is one competition here though that I would love to play the Null Emperor it's a tough one but I've done it before and it's pretty good man Uh, let's move on from here maybe do a rotation back to this spot you know I think it's right around the right time to get some unix to bite What's good, bro? Yo, Roger, is welcome to the stream, man. I saw you here fishing earlier, but my mind was telling me that you were doing the recatch fish challenge, you know? Did you finish up all of, all of them? Okay, guys, let, let me get a unit for you guys before we go to the competition, you know? There's no way I'm leaving this map today without a couple of uniques. Not one, not two, a couple of them. Then again, I I haven't been here in like a month or so, so things could be different right now, you know? Who knows, man? Yes, no, just fishing done caught all fish in the game. Hey, that's crazy, man. I still got a few more remaining, you know? But the few more I have remaining are just like a handful of fish. And that's it. But hey, congratulations, man. So 39 minutes and then we can go crazy in the, well, I don't think I'll be going crazy in the competition. But I'll give my best just to get some uniques in, you know. And I do have some nice bass jigs with me. Did you ever catch a tickle with mullet? Oh yeah. And I've been needing I've been uh doing some guides as well to get them. So I got a few uh Oh, look at that got a few spots and a couple of unique I got three unique so far in two different spots you know you know I might go back to the, the dog the waterfall and uh, my bad and show the fish guys my bad <laughs> I just didn't want to like you know Miss opportunity for the other spots because I'm running out of pig time right now. So I want to make it as fast as I can to get this fish in. That wasn't a bad one though, 413. I think my only last three fish remaining, Roger, is uh the hide, the the common roach, and uh the bream. I found two spots for the roach and the bream, but only trophies were biting for me, you know. I'm getting on there though. I'm getting them all there, that map. And hopefully by the end of me completing everything, I can say yeah. I at least have knowledge of fishing that map, you know. I do think when a map is challenging it's because you never fished there before or spend enough time there to catch anything. But I think the more I fish a map, for example, uh Gent. I wasn't a fan of the map, right? Because I never fished there that much before. But fishing there right now, I can say yeah. I can help someone who's not experiencing that map, you know? Because I've been doing it. And uh, at least have ideas what to do there. So I'm afraid to say it, but it might, a big might. It might be growing on me, you know, maybe. What 
what is this fish right there? Trophy or unique? I don't think it's a unique though. I caught a roach about 250, 140 foot or feet out. My bad. Where you was fishing in the stream. So you're saying that they're out there in the deep? Because I was casting close to the shore though. Like, you know, not in the deep blue area. Just right on the edge of it. Hey chat, take a guess. What fish is this? Well, we all know it's an isle perch, but what pound fish is it, you know? And uh, trophy are unique. I have no idea, man. It's acting weird. Yeah, I caught my mullet unique on bread about 250 feet out. Hey, that's crazy, bread. Mine was on number one, number one out of a shrimp. And uh, not all the way out, but on the edge of the, the deep area. Not all the way out there, you know. Hey, Zach, welcome to the stream, man. What's good? How's it going? I just chilling with everyone in chat and uh, had a congo, you know, in a minute or so I might be doing a competition, just for the fun of it though. The roach by bread also, I'm definitely keeping that in mind then, because I've been trying uh, uh, maggots, waxworm, you know. I've been getting them, but not so much. The biggest I've got is a trophy. Yeah, this fish is really weird, man. It's fighting like an undersized uh, trophy or unique, you know? 426. <laughs> hey man, I don't think I've been here that long to catch that fish, you know. It's possible these days. Because I've noticed when you catch anything like 450 or bigger than that, the 420s and 430 uh, pound in half perch will be easier to catch, you know, for some reason. But I think this is like an undersized fish, bro. The bream is about 99 to 200. That's not the same spot. So my breams are like close by, bro. I think in the description they're like a school fish that uh, stay close to shore. So with that uh, detail, bro, I kind of just stick to the shore and, you know, they were biting here and they're nice trophies. Let me just say, sometimes I thought it was a unique. And it wasn't. Yo, John, welcome to the stream, man. Wait, you thought I was just fishing here? No, sir. I was just here, you know, chilling with everyone in chat right there. You know what I also want to see as well? I want them to give us a big line for the night chaser, 101 pound, you know? Alright, <clears throat> next part. Uh, just a showcase for you guys, you know. Smaller one, but uh, not bad, you know. Oh, my kid is full. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, thank you for the fireworks, man. You know, actually, if it's possible and I'm around this Christmas, I will be streaming the Christmas event on this account, you know. So, hey, if, you, if you're not using them, you can send them over. I have done the event missions before, but it wasn't on this account, you know. Later, bro. Good fishing. Thank you, man. And uh, appreciate it for stopping by the stream, you know. You get your gift, love? Man, that was crazy, man. Thank you, man. So, why you guys are not practicing for the... 
the the bass competition, you know. Did I pass the spot? No, I'm I'm here. That's catfish right there. Oh, you guys been already practicing? Yeah. I'm just going in. I'm just going in the competition with my uh my instinct, you know. <laughs> no practice, nothing, man. Just going in there like a noob. Fish on, man. Just here for the fun, you know. Wait, how long was the competition back in the days? Four to five minutes or something like that. Can you show me the first spot where you caught the unique? Right now, please, I can't find the first spot. Oh. Let me show you, bro. Second unique right there. Keep it up, John. Uh, so this, the first spot was right here, bro. And uh, that's my fish right there, if you didn't know that, you know. So right behind the waterfall, right there. That's exactly where it is, you know. Let me zoom in so you can see better. And the coordinates are 85.57, negative 441.33, you know. And that's it, bro. Hopefully that helps you. Yeah, I'm gonna call Eric by his real name. Not not his real name that I know of, but the name they call him, you know? <laughs> RW. Hey man, that's crazy, bro. What are you calling a dinosaur, bro? Hey, chat, question. So, you know, it's just a dinosaur question, though. Uh. While I was growing up, everyone's been talking about the T-Rex, right? Being the top predator or the apex predator. But uh, seeing and learning other dinosaurs like the, the Spinosaurus or what, whatever it's called. And the other thing is, what is the top contender like? You know, who's the top dog, bro? For dinosaurs out there. I don't know much about them, bro. I only seen them in videos and movies. So I have no knowledge of those things, to be honest, man. Weeping Willow. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to catch that 100 ponder before the new update. But I might add there one day, you know. I've been trying for that thing on stream for a long time and still haven't caught it. But not as much, you know. The Giga? That's what you, I think that's what they call it. For the shorter word, it's called the Giga Source or something like that. As I said, bro, I'm not really like, I love, I love animals, right? Oh, catfish. But I never actually followed them up like that before, so. I can't really say. A dodo? <laughs> yeah, you know what's crazy? If you guys play Hark before, oh my god, man. In Ark, Survival, the Dodos in it, I made them go crazy, man. Let me just say that. 
They're just weird and stupid, man. But hey, they don't survive when I'm around. Let me just say that. Uh oh, we run out of peak time, guys. I love Ark. I do love playing with friends to be honest Dutch, the only problem is bro when I die I lose everything. I hate doing that you know. And I'm a big explorer and let me just say one day in the Hark we went uh, flying right on those what they call those big bird things. The Tyrannosaurus, those um, things that eat only fish or meat only. And we got stuck in the swamp, bro. A bunch of uh, gators and snakes and uh, rap raptors just attacked us out of nowhere, bro. Oh my god, we died so fast and lost everything, bro. Even the raft was stuck behind in the, in the swampy area. We, we, we lost it, bro. And uh, let me just say, I lost my mind as well, you know. I, I would... I went crazy that day, losing everything. I have 21 real life days playtime in Hark. 21 days or 21k, you know, like hours. Oh, let's see something, guys. Yeah, we can fish on though, it's possible. The thing is, though, man, you know, my, my key is full, you know. Should I keep fishing this peak time because it can, or should I skip to a daytime where you guys can see better, bro? You know, actually, I'm going to skip to a daytime just because we only got 20 minutes remaining for the competition. Easy money right there. With all premium as well, you know. I'm definitely coming back here after the competition to go for, uh, for some catfish. I played it since I was eight. The thing is, I never really take art serious before, you know. I just went there to mess around, to be honest. Exploring, you know, the waters, new um, species, and stuff like that. But I never get into being serious as a serious player for the Hark. I just ate the way that you die and lose everything, bro. You know? But building wise, I love it, bro. I have Arc Platinum. Oh, damn. You're a hardcore player, then, huh? I think the only survival game I have Platinum for is Stranded Deep. Yeah. And I saw someone with some mods in art before, bro. The things they can create in that game is just different. 3,300 hours? Oh, that's crazy. I don't if I have like a hundred. <laughs> I don't if I have so much hours in the game, man. Yeah, I wish I played that game more, but as I said, I enjoy playing with friends more, you know. Solo? Nah. The thing is, an another thing again, guys, the raptors. They're like a gang of them on the beach side, just sitting there waiting to attack you. 
when you die and respawn him, they're still there waiting for you, bro. Those things are really annoying. You need to play with the group? Yes, sir. That's the best way I think I can enjoy the game to the fullest, you know? Oh, another thing as well. For me, the server is always crashing for me as well. I don't know why. I play Genesis. That's the server, if not the map. A hey, fun story though guys, uh, one night uh, me and my friend was uh, sailing right, exploring the waterways and stuff like that and uh, there was this like big whale creature thingy in the water attacking the megalodon sharks, eating them and then he attacked us, breaking up our rafts and so on bro, I'm saying monstrous, it was gigantic. The amount of arrows and spear we put in him, he still didn't die. And uh, we couldn't see what it was because it was at night time in the dark area. So, all I know it was monstrous and just dangerous, man. It was like a whale shark, but way bigger, you know? I wish I was recording that day as well. Happens, bro. That's why I carry my level 400 giga and the oven for over three years. Is that what you call it? Hey man, let me just say, bro. I never can pronounce um, dinosaur name like that, you know. So when I don't say them. It's because I don't want to say anything wrong, you know? It's, it's always hard for me to pronounce their names, bro. But whenever I tell my friends about it, who play the Hark, they have ideas what it is, but the thing is the server I play is like, they don't really play that server, you know? So they're giving me ideas of what it was or what it could have been, but I have no idea what it was, bro. Or it can be crazy for sure. And that's the nicest right there. How many players can play in one server, by the way? Oh, next thing, man. Uh, just a short story. So one day, me and my friend was uh, exploring, you know, making some items. But for the items, we do need a resource, like, uh, what do you call it? Iron and stuff like that. And there was this one guy in the bushes, bro, attacking us, man. <laughs> But the thing is, the person had no clothes on, bro. No clothes. So we could barely see, man. It was night time. All we could have seen was arrows tossing at us, spears. And he was so fast because he can build a character to be really fast. And he was just punching all of us. We couldn't take him down, man. So we tricked him, get him on the raft, and we all ganged him, bro. It was crazy. We put him to sleep, man. But he was like a mastermind of the world, you know? I don't know what he was doing, but hey. He was skill at the game, let me just say that. A little weird encounter, you know? But fun at the same time. One forty six. Uh, let's see if we can get this last unique right here and uh, move on.
sorry bro kind of bouncing back and forth to your stream and the game all oh, good man i thought you caught a nice uh, goliath tiger fish bro keep it up man Come more and give me one more fish before I go. I want to get the rod ready, the baits, and uh, stuff like that, you know. So, hey, Zach, you grinding levels today or just fishing? Oh, we just had to buy it right there. Hey Dutch, how is that uh, monster fish hunt going for you? You getting those BRs and um, Pyaras? They're biting? Yeah, I think I'll be switching one of these uh, rods out for another bottom rod. Just so I have more options for the catfish, different baits, different oak size next time I come here. I'm coming back right to this map after the competition though, right after. I'm really far away, huh? Yes, sir. Since we are here, could you send me that unique tiger marker on the other side of the waterfall? I'm grinding levels in the mobile, just fishing on the console. The other side of the waterfall. I have two spots to be honest. So I'll send both of them and the one you don't want you can delete it after. Just because I'm not sure what side you're talking, you know. So I'm gonna send both of them and uh you can set the one you want and then the other one. I think John is hooked up. Yes sir. Get him bro. What will it be? I'm gonna say a unique bro. Right here like the uniques are pretty good here. <clears throat> now let me see where. You got markers right here. And uh, over the other side as well. Right there. Wait, is that my marker though? I don't think I used that bait with the. I don't think I've ever used that bait before. The shad. I don't think I used that one before, but they're right in this area. Honestly guys, that's not my marker. I don't have, I don't fish with that uh, shad right there. You know? I don't think so. What did he catch? They're getting ready for the, 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 the competition. Okay, last cast, man. I wonder what bass you guys should use. I got like serious ones and trophies. And I might use something extra with it. 
Oh, come on, fish. That boss bit one you sent me was it, I believe. Thank you. It was the one offshore. The one off your rotation, my bad. The one with the buzz bait? I think, yeah, the one with the shadow on it. Yeah, that spot is only for Goliaths though. No tiger fish ever caught there. That I know of. Yeah, this is small fish right there, man. Yep. Catfish? My purse, what is it? <laughs> hey guys, I guess that will do it for now, you know? Let's go get this um competition ready. Get prepped up for it and then we can come back here. I know I haven't caught as many unique today for night perch, but trust me, if I was into catching night perch all day, it'd be a great day, you know? But I'm not really here to catch only them. So yep. I would say that's the reason why. No right stand allowed. I'm gonna just leave it at home just because, you know. I think I did register, right? Okay, let me change the line. I could use the Floro or X series. I don't know. I don't want to use too many X series stuff to cancel out the, the fishing, you know, the bite rates. I think I might just try regular line for now. Do I have any with me? Yeah, I'm always at 22 mil, bro. Never going down, never going up that much, you know? I'm always staying in that range, but... Hey, if you guys want cash, though, the Congo is the way to go, man. I only have pure X series line. What's going on? I'm gonna just buy some uh, flora, just in case, though. Because sometimes too much X series can cancel out each other, if that makes sense. I'm gonna fish with X series first, then uh, Flora after. If it comes down to where nothing is biting. Bass jigs. Okay, we got the six, we got the four. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the four for now. And that's it, bro. That's our setup right there. <laughs> we got awesome for bait, as in jigs. I might also use like a bait with it, bro. A secondary lower, you know? If it comes down to it. Everglades, where you at? Okay. I can't remember what bass jig I used in the first time I played this. If it was a six art oak or the four. I can't say, man. And uh, I know I didn't stream yesterday, guys, so my apology once more, but, you know, the lack of maps to go right now is just 
I can't really fish on that much, that many times as much before. Normally on the weekends, Saturdays, Sundays, I stream twice for Fishing Planet, you know? I feel like if I do that right now, it's going to be... Uh, let's just say, too many maps, you know? And I want to keep this keep these maps uh, rotation as low as possible, so I don't overdo it. Two minutes, okay. I wonder what the competitions will be like on the salt water map. What fish will they give it to go for? Those would be some of the best competitions. Reason why? They're new and no one actually been doing them. So everyone will be going in the competitions with their pure instinct of the fish they've been catching, base they've been using, lures. And just putting that to work, you know. So everything will be from the start. I don't know if I'll have time to do them. But I think it will be fun to just do them because they're new. I might do a stream, but only for bass one day. I'm going to majority of the maps with, with bass there. Large mouth spotted bass, speckled peacock bass, and just go crazy with some nice uniques, man. Some nice top water lures, some bait caster. You know, just go crazy. But only for that fish though, nothing else. I think Cloak is also doing the competition too. Yeah, this thing is not gonna be something I catch lots of fish in, bro. I can guarantee that. I think it started. Think it's ready. Uh, let's do this. Imagine if, if I didn't apply for it, because sometimes you do misapply, you know, like, you think you did, but you didn't. And it's a two hour competition, not while you're playing, but it lasts two hours. So other players who missed it will have enough time to stop by and do it again. Well, not again, but you know have the chance to do it for the five minutes I don't mind what will this be a bass or a peacock bass I mean large motor or peacock Oh my god, someone caught a unique already, bro. Crazy. Yeah, we can't. They won't be allowing us to count the, the peacock bass, only larger. Trolley or trolley 
Is that his name? I never heard of him before. So five uniques will be pretty good in this competition because that's all you need to keep five fish, five bigger fish, you know. Hey man, where are my bass at? Come on, bite. Well, largest though. Yeah, this thing's gonna go up really fast in a minute, bro. It's the Everglades. The main map for bass fishing, to be honest, you know. Oh, I had a hit right there. Yo, someone got 19 pounds already. It's crazy. I do have a few rotation spots in mind as well. So I just need a few maybe trophies or unique from this spot, then I'll move on. Yep, on the pickup bass. Crazy. Is it? Nope. Okay, we're finally on the leaderboard, man. Come on. Good luck. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. <clears throat> I wonder when it's going to be the next day I take a, a competition serious, you know, like I'm playing to actually win it. Not the bass. So I'm going to keep everything until I reach a point where I have to release the smaller fish for the bigger ones, you know. 11 pound unique. I think I've only ever caught one unique in this competition before. Only one. Everything else was basically trophies. Seven pounds, five pounders. Yeah, I think I might want to switch to like a bigger bass jig to be honest. The 6 0. If I keep getting these smaller fish to bite, I'm switching to 6 0, bro. Oh, no snap, come on. Oh my god, game. I just wasted my cast right there. What did I get? Lily pad or seaweed? Uh-oh, the first place guy gets put down to second place. And what is this one? Of course, bro. <coughs> Oh, let's try something else. Let's see if a bigger hook can avoid these smaller fish to bite. Did 
the thing is though, not much action in this thing. Yeah. I got something nice. What was it? I saw for a minute, so I can't tell what was it though. 10 pound unique car trophy. Nope. Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey. Why my unique gotta be so small, guys? 9 pounder? Crazy. <laughs> a 9 point bass and a 6 slot hook, man. I can never catch a big bass when it comes down to this competition. I think my biggest was like 10 pounds in this competition before. Hopefully catch no both in zero bro. Oh my god, 12.35. That's one of the biggest bass I've seen in a long time. Monster. Mm. I know you can also fish to the right in that small tunnel right there I'm also try there next that's the one problem the only problem I hate with this jig right there the the, the retrieval man is too it's not so good if you're not going high speed if I, if I reel this thing in too fast, then I might not be getting much fish to bite. Let's try this spot. And to my far right again, you can fish on there as well. So I do know this spot, man. It's just a bait. Of course, a peacock bass. Lovely. And they're all going to the key net, bro. They're all for cash right there. I think earlier I did release one. Look at trophies, man. Crazy. <clears throat> and it should be possible to pair your uh, bass jig with something extra as well. Should be possible. Oh, 
wonder if it can cast way in the in the lily pad area without getting snagged. Damn, bro. Where my unique at, huh? How many you caught? I think that's his second unique so far. Or maybe not, I don't know. Oh, I'm not the only one that caught nine pound uni. Okay, this might not be a bass, bro. Watch this. It is, but not the unique we're looking for. Trophy. That thing felt like a nice unique, but it wasn't, you know? I think what I need to actually get in this competition is a way to form these uniques. If I get a chance to do that, I, I can make something happen, you know? Definitely. Yeah, that's a smaller fish that won't count. I think I've only caught one seven pound trophy. If I can keep forming those ones, and of course, uniques, I can be in like top 10. It's the five bigger fish, you know? So far, my two bigger fish is seven and nine. And that's about it. Yeah, I'm keeping everything, son. The ones that shouldn't be kept for this challenge to be uh, official. I'm just keeping the ones that are not for the cash though. Come on, you need to take a bite, bro. Tried it. Darn it. Hey, I see the top three players are like battling it out right now. Up and down, back and forth. Trolley was doing really good, our Trolley. I'm not sure you pronounce his name, but he was doing really good earlier, man. And there's still enough time for him to come back to the top. Uh, let's try a different spot over here. Normally, I like Lift and drop and twitching for these bass. Yeah, this won't help me. Yep. <coughs> You know, I might try a different bass jig. Something I have in mind. But it's gonna be a four hour took one though. I wonder if a change of uh, lowers would be good. Let's try something. Oh, that was a big bass right there, falling behind it. Too light. Hopefully, this can make it ever. 
are optimal. Damn, 32 place. Oh my god, bro. I'm falling behind, guys. No shot, right? Yeah, I wasn't expecting anything better, to be honest, man. Now, let's do this. I don't think Eric and John is doing this competition as yet. If this doesn't go good with this bastard, I'm switching back to the X series. Yo, yo, Aiden, welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, I can see why I can't cast this thing far. It's TJ. Wait, is this a different account or did you change your name? Oh, you changed it? Well, welcome back, man. No sir, no new update. Booyah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was my PR too? No shot, bro. I caught my PR in a competition. What the hell? Nice. Yes sir. Now I gotta find a different spot to get another unique, bro. We got three spots here, but because they're in the same area, it might give me a problem to get another one. But let's see. <coughs> so that's my third uh, biggest fish so far. 11, 9, and 7. Of course, there are six pounders there too, so you know. Yeah, that one taught me. Everyone is stuck at uh. 40 plus pound fish because you know can't really farm too many uniques or they're not biting as much if only I could guarantee myself not a unique bro I could definitely be top 10 I think I could bro And I've caught some nice unique here in the past before. I know of 170 subs. What games do you stream or play? Oh, Trolley with another unique. Trolley. I think it's Trolley. It's not Trolley. It's Trolley. <laughs> I'm butchering this guy name, bro. My bad. I think I've only seen two persons caught two uniques so far. Is it possible to get a third one or a fourth? I 
Fishing Pirates, Fortnite, and NHL. A little bit of arc. It's a fashion planet. Come on, win this one day. Yeah, not possible, man. I don't think it's possible, you know. But hey, it's just I said this is good content, though, you know. For me to do something different, not fish all day. Well, just grinding. Come on, Bass, take a bite, man. Yeah, for me to win this, bro, I have to earn her spot to guarantee me some uniques, you know. These spots are good, but it's like you cap out a certain number of uniques, to be honest. I got 42 pounds of fish, and basically everyone's in the 40s right now. I think the only thing I might be able to, to use to win this or make something happen is to form trophies now. Catch a tarpon. <laughs> Imagine if you catch a tarpon in the bass competition and they count it as a fish. Hey, that would be crazy, man. What the hell? This spot is dead, bro. Why? Should I change my lures again? Oh, the snag. I might go back to the first spot. I didn't catch much trophies there. The turtle. Oh my god, what a combination of lower. A, a bass stick, a spider, and a turtle is eating that, you know? Frog. The thing is with the competition, Aiden, you can only use uh, bass sticks. You know? Only bass jigs, man. So even if I want to use like something different, lower wise, I can't. Yes, yeah, sir. No, no lower other than spinning tackles, bass jigs, no rod stand, nothing like that. So, got to work with what they said, you know? Come on, give me some nice trophies, man. So do you also live stream for Fishing Planet as well? Not that dark. Yeah, I got my first unique right there, a small one. On Twitch? Oh. I mean, I've been told to stream on Twitch, bro. The thing is, I'm not familiar with Twitch, you know. But one day, I might be able to. I'm doing a fishing plan. Wait, fishing. What? F2P? What's that? Oh, big bite right there, bro. Oh, free to play. I thought they were talking like, you know, fish and plants, you know? <laughs> My bad, bro. Oh, I went from what? 18 to place? Down to 33. Crazy. I do know another bass spot, but they're more likely peak at bass to be there. The 
the account you know as a hundred dollars spent you know I do think you know at some point when anyone start playing games they are gonna spend the cash bro you know it's a must I don't think so no way you're gonna be playing for years and not like a game you buy a DLC or nothing for you have to buy something retaining to a game you like it's bound to happen I would like to know someone who, who can tell me that they never bought anything on a game before or spent money I think I might be reading too fast bro I bought the Congo DLC because everything was broken or breaking. You talking like equipment wise they were just snapping or something different. All the cool stuff I had. Yeah. You know bigger map, bigger fish, weaker rods. Just not possible you know. Oh another thing as well. They also, uh, there's no more try rod for sharks anymore in the new update coming. They're gonna have this notification telling you that the, the rod is too light to pick up the big fish. So you can't be using light rods anymore for monsters, you know. It's either use something right or something that's optimal for that fish. Yes, sir. So no more abusing the the try rod for sharks anymore. Yeah, rods keep not and even sold my boat for money. What? What boat? The Congo boats or something different? Now I have good stuff because of that DLC. Yeah, the Congo DLC is the best in the game to be honest man. You actually see your worth after fishing that map, you know? Right. I have no regrets buying that DLC. And I'm not really a, a DLC spender when it comes down to it. But I can vouch for that DLC right there. If you know what you're doing. The Amazon Dark Boat DLC. Oh, the blue one with the, the things behind it. I mean, hey man, I would sell it too, bro. Basically, I would say the Congo boat is the best boat in the game. Right, holders, you don't need anything with that much speed, to be honest. You know, you need something to be more efficient when it comes down to fishing, not speed. So, I can definitely see why you sell that boat. Or I would definitely sell it if I have it as well, you know. However, though, if you don't have another boat, I wouldn't sell it. Uh oh, I noticed something, guys. The the pickup bass are turned on right now, you know. They're, they're feeding more than the bass. Man, you know what, bro? If I do have enough time, I would love to see some streams of yours too, you know? Wait, I'm already subscribed to you, bro. <laughs> So I went to subscribe, right, bro? And uh, guess what? They told me to unsubscribe because I already subscribed to you. I was. The thing is, I'm not. I'm not really a Twitch fan. Like you know, I don't have a Twitch account or anything like that. So you know, I don't really have those uh, options to just search or to do what I want. 
Oh, it's March. But hey, send me your, your Twitch name on Discord, bro. So I can stop by sometimes. John is offline. Yeah, they might be doing the competition after. It's just DJ. But wait, back in the days, didn't you stream on YouTube for a minute, bro? When you used to play uh, Call of Duty? What's this? Or was it always on Twitch? Oh, it's a peak at bass. I don't think with good practice, I can I can actually play this thing and get better. You know, practice with different bass jigs. You know, spots that can give you more than one unique, or just form trophies when when you can. If I get those things down, I can make things happen. You know, definitely. Uh oh, look who's at fifth place. Forktail. Yes, sir. So I do know some. Look at that thing right there, bro. Okay, let's move on. I do know some familiar face in this um competition for sure. That was Twitch. Oh, I see. Come on, bro. I know they're unique here, bro. I, I know that they're here. But for some reason, they're not biting. It's crazy. You won't have much pickup bass mess with you here. This one right here is mainly for like bass, right? Largely. But they're just not biting that good. Unique would be nice right now. Maybe the hook is too big. That could be a, a, a issue. The thing is though, TJ, they're not biting that much, you know. If they were like biting and missing, then the hook might have been a problem. But they're not biting as much where I can say, yeah, let's change the hook size or the bait size. Not really. Because as you see, I'm catching two pounders, bro. On a six heart hook, and these trophies and units get from seven to twelve pounds. So they should have no problem eating a six heart hook jigger. He comes down to it. I think I had better luck on my first bass challenge here, the first time I did it. Way better luck than today. What's the biggest bass caught in the game? I would say a speckle pickup bass, bro. 25 pounds, maybe bigger. Everglades, Blue Crab Island. Got some nice ones there, bro. I do also think uh, largemouth, the biggest one in the game is like a 12 pounder point something, you know. And earlier, the top one person or the top one player, his biggest bass was 12.345 pounds. Monster. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, let's try this. Yeah, this door is not even moving, bro. It's so heavy, not one speed can move it. Let's see if all these fish are down low or what. I'm fifth to one place, bro. That's crazy. Just imagine how many players got um forty plus pounds of fish. Because the top five players are in forties right now, going to fifty. And I'm fifth and I'm what fifty one place, holding forty two pounds of fish. So most players got 40 pounds, you know, in the 40 range, 45, 48, 47. Only two persons have passed the 50 pound range. I've got two uniques today, 11 pound and nine. Getting a third one will be impossible for me right now. You know what? I'm going to try something, bro. I know this spot is mainly for pickup bass, guards. I'm going to try there. Give it a try, bro. These spots are pretty much dead right now. Yes sir, I did see the video when you react to it and give it a try. Okay, let's go here bro. This is one spot I didn't want to fish bro. Bunch of peacock bass here. Use the middle dock. Which one is that? I know this one and the first one I was at. Had a bite right there. I wonder if there's any more competition after this one. That I would like to participate in. Well, let me say something guys this is what i'm doing right now this is a prime example of doing competitions without practicing and not doing these more than once if i did these more than once and did practice i would have a better idea how to operate around the map and form these things better you know so it all comes down to like you know the amount of time you do these competition to actually have experience in knowing what you're doing you know i have experience of fishing here making guides places to fish for like uniques wise but when it comes on to the competition where you have to only focus on one fish and use a certain lure then that's where things become different because they give you options you know you can't just do whatever you want and that's where things become as I said different where you might you might be struggling to get some things to bite let's see right there Not much trophy for anyone either. Yep. So everyone's trophy's been like slow right right now. I had a bite right there. What was it? No idea.
I will I will say though I had a good run, you know. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> I just need what? Eight more pounds of fish that are unique in trophy size for me to be top ten. But that's not gonna happen anytime soon right now. With four minutes remaining and nothing biting, good luck with that. So even though I, I leave my rod, rod stand at home because the boat is prohibited, it's taking time for me to fast travel. But why is the boat on me when you can't carry the boat here? Normally they remove it. So why is it here now? Normally any map you're going to like can use kayaks or boat to remove it or, or something like that. Or maybe you have it with you, you just can't use it, you know. Uh oh, the first place guy was doing so good, bro. Now he's not there anymore. Trolley, he was doing super good earlier, man. Holding the first place for at least a good 30 minutes of the, the competition. And uh, let's just say that he's nowhere to be found right now. Darn it. Backlash with weed. Oh my god. How much line is this, bro? It's like a. Oh, damn. I think for Scorpio, that's his third unique of the day right there. Oh, they're getting lucky right now. I think for Ali Cat Ari and uh, Scorpio, that's their third Unix right there. He probably practiced. Oh, they're always in a competition, bro. They're always doing these things, you know. So th these are competitions they do over and over. No matter how much they repeat it, they're always in it. I don't think I've ever do or ever do or done any competition with I would see in family names, bro. They're always around, you know. I've seen Ali Cat are in a tons of competitions before, tons of them. Scorpio, just a few of them. And I don't think they have preference of what competition they like, you know. Addicted to the game too much. That could be one. Or they could just be like, you know, a competitive player that enjoy playing this competition. And then again, I can see why they, they, they're playing it as well. If you're rank 80 or level 80 player and ranking up, there's not much for you to do in the game, bro. So might as well grind competition, right? Well, that's my time right there. I went from 80th place to 68th place, bro. <laughs> crazy. Oh, that's crazy, man. Uh, this is all I got so far. 
they have been in one competition and won one. Yeah, I want to say, I'm not sure if you guys count top three place win. But I've been in like a few competitions, I got uh, second place and uh, third place. In my books, that's a win, right? Because you're basically getting the same thing like the first player. Bitcoin, random lords, pretty much the same thing. Okay, uh, what time is it? Almost three. We can keep fish on until I'm ready to go. Can he create top water rodeo? Mother Water River, no survey. I think by 4 p.m. I might be off. Okay, let's do something. Yellow fishing Connie Creek, bro. Salmons. I think I've played in Top Water Rodeo twice before. But that's at 6 p.m., bro. I don't think I'll be streaming that late. No, sir. If I am, I'll be streaming something else, bro. I think I'm going after catfish now. Update out is yet. Not even close, man. Keep in mind, Alan. When the update is out, it's going to PC first. And then in the month of, or the end of the month, it's coming to console. So, yeah. No time soon, bro. August. Man, I'm hoping it's like somewhere around there, you know. But, hey. Uh, we, we don't know, man. And Alien, welcome to the stream, bro. My bad. Maxi, what's good, bro? It's been a while, man. I must be equipped with first. Crazy. Wait, where are my offset? I mean, uh, my captain looks at where are they at. The new mechanic is very complicated. Which one? Okay, I might want to rock with 10 or took down. I don't really want to, but in this case, I might have to. What new mechanic? So you're reeling fish different now. To get the fish in, you're reeling them different. Uh, some type of retrievals are different as well. So instead of just holding your hooks up button reel a fish in straight in, that's going to change, Aiden. Okay, give me a second, guys. Let me get this thing already. But maybe there are other changes to the mechanic where I don't know about. So, I'm wondering what mechanic uh, Max is talking about. Which one? Yo, one day I'm going to sit down and just clean my backpack out, bro. There's too many stuff in it, you know? I think I'm gonna put huge cut bait on this one. That the small minnows. Large cut baits. Blood. Okay. Go back to the Congo. Just chill out with some catfish there. For now. Hey man, the man says he's an OG in the comments. That's crazy, man.
all right so a few bites from the catfish and then i'll take a break right there I also need to do some uh, working on guides, you know. Let's see what these players in public sessions are doing. <laughs> okay, let's just load in first, bro. There you go. Actually, I'm not gonna go to this spot. Pig time. Come on, please be here, bro. Nope. Where is that peak time, by the way, man? I know some only seeing like the cloudy and the sunny. Where's that part of the sunny day to fish? Yeah, I'm not really feeling that, the, what you call it, the Nile Perch vibe today. Because, you know, those are just too easy to farm right now. Oh my god, bro, I messed up. Lovely. Stupid, to, uh, stupid competition told me to take off my rod stand, man. And I did. I totally forgot to bring it with me. Lovely. That's why most times when I'm doing competitions, I don't listen to them. I don't take my boat off or my rod holder. That's the right one. Yes, sir. Come on, man. There you go. Back in the same lobby as well. Just imagine catching a uh, Nile, not Nile perch, catfish with a new mechanism they, they add in the game. Well, they're going to. It's not ears yet, but just imagine, man. Because I do find out, I do find these catfish way harder to fight than anything in the game. Imagine those are pimas with those edge shake as well. Crazy. Uh, let's see. 
Let's see what you can do here. I don't really like this peak time for fishing though. For like catfish. This peak is more likely for night perch or tiger fish, not for catfish. But for some reason I can't see the, the peak time I want to fish. Wait, don't I have like a weird bait here? It's like a bug. Where is it? No, sorry, I don't have it with me. Lovely. <laughs> I don't really have much catfish bait with me, to be honest. But at least the baits I'm used to for fishing for catfish. These are not the same ones I use on this map. The game just froze and uh, the fish let go off the bait, bro. Crazy. I think I'm gonna leave this session. It's bugging out really bad over here. After I get this fishing, I'm going to uh, private our friends only. I'm trying, I'm just making the new retrieval and that thing ain't working bro, not on these fish at least. Maybe once that retrieval has been implemented in the game, it will be way better, way different. Uh oh. Now oh, that's a big fish right there too. Come on in fish, you're right there man. Oh, we lost it. Lovely. This part has always been like this. Tons of action. But take forever, takes forever to get them in. Just a small trophy. Oh, come on, bro. Just a small trophy that took me forever to get them in. Let me just say, right now, right now is the easiest way to get these things in. Wait until the new mechanism comes by in Fish and Planet. Getting these things will be difficult, bro. I do think so.
it's been a long time since I've caught a unique on, on this map for the catfish. Just that split moment, you release both accept button and reel button, they can just pit that bait instantly if they wanted to. Yeah, I think you gotta be more res uh, responsive. But then again, the, the main, the main factor of changing the technique, two main reasons: more realistic, and the other one is to basically tire out the fish from going crazy. Yeah, that guy's name is weird, man. I know exactly what this fish is going to be like. What kind of fish is it? It's a nice, nice approach right there. Last dragon, welcome to the stream, man. What do you think about the new update? Well, it hasn't been out as yet on console, so I can't give my honest opinion. What I know so far is in the beta testing, so you know. What I can say for sure is, I think it's a good change, you know. But most players might not be adapting fast to it where they can just enjoy the game like how it is right now. So it might take a while for us to adapt to the changes, but I think it's going to be good, bro. Back. Later, good luck, day. You up enough that you call it today right here? But what do you think, bro? What are your thoughts on the update or the beta test update you've seen so far? Checking YouTube. <laughs> hey, one of them days, huh? Yes, sir. I just saw you up top a moment ago, Dutch. You taking a break from fishing? Did you do the competition? Yes, I did. I'm surprised to see you guys there, John. What happened? That trophy took forever to get in, guys. Let me just say that. I, I did pretty bad, to be honest. I went from 18th place to like 68th place, you know? <laughs> 42 pounds fish. A fish. Uh... 11.5 is my biggest bass. I've caught two uniques. 
and then uh, let's just say at the end of the competition nothing was biting for me bro the trophy stopped and it was all pick up bass after but I did pretty good in the in the first half of the competition you know you can say that terrible well I did get to win it come the other day lucky ghost uh is that the one in weeping willow and uh congratulations man nice win a 30 pound one so you can't go for the oversized carps then in the competition right it's like a smaller one right the small ghost carps or something like that i think i'm running way too fast oversized trophy Yeah, I've never done a competition at Weeping before. Hey, but what was the reward though? What did they give you for the the win? Like, there's an elk. <laughs> wait, wait, you're talking the same one we have, or that's a different one? Hey, that's crazy, man. Hey, that's crazy, bro. Well, now you got tons of them, you know, so if you lose any, you got backups. That's the thing about competition, John. You know, you do them, you win them. But when it comes down to rewards, you never know what's going to get, bro. I got a 7 out X3 scar book. Oh, from the mission. I mean, the competition. My bad. X series. Wait, you got X series hooks in the game, too? I mean, yeah, you got x ray barbless hooks, right? Or something like that. Jigheads, at least jigheads I know of. Bro, is it true you can't use the max drag anymore? In the beta test, you can't. Even if your rod can be max dragged, you can't apply that to the rod anymore. Carp X series hooks. Have you tried them like ever since you got them? Are they like you know any good? More bite rates, you know. What do you think so far about them? Wait, well, you did not try them? Oh, I would definitely try them out, man. Only in the beta, the beta, or overall, only in the beta so far, Aiden. You can't max strike, you know. I have been max dragging today. No, you can max drag in the game right now because there is no update for consoles yet, right? And the update isn't officially out as yet. Just the beta. But in the beta, you can't max drag anymore. Not possible, man. Unless they're gonna make it for a certain rods where you can only max drag the big ones, but not the smaller ones. We'll know what they're gonna do. You've been playing the beta? Hell nah. You think they're gonna give console players beta testing? No, sir. It's out on PC though. A few unpicked PC players. 
I've been doing the beta testing, bro. Wait, John. You haven't seen any beta videos as yet, bro? Yeah, come on straight to man. Don't fight. Come on. I'm guessing a sharp tooth catfish. Repeat that, please. I'm saying, have you not seen any videos with the beta testing? New mechanism of reeling. No max drag. A... What do you call it? Oh, this is no sharp tool catfish, bro. No, not yet. Yeah, you have a few videos out there, bro. That's uh, telling you about the beta. Try watching Gaming Ari. I think that's his name. He got videos of it. Uh, at least one video so far. And he shows you exactly what what's going on you know when you do max drag something that should be max drag but you can't you do see everything chicken liver size 8 try that uh, chicken liver I don't think I have any with me but I will check the thing is bro this is not the peak time I want to fish right well, I'm just fishing it right now because it's the first one. I'd rather fish the, the midday peak time at this spot right here. Really active, man. I've got some monsters in this area. I think my biggest was 295, 297. Or something like that. Tons of them in this area. That was the competition. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Crazy, bro. You good, son? The competition was okay, man. I lost it. You know? Let's just say I went in. I did well in the, the first half of the competition. Got some nice unique, some nice trophies. And then everything stopped biting for me. Yeah, I didn't bring those baits with me, man. You got large liver. Uh, what, chicken liver as well? Something like that. But they're all in my home storage right now. The reason why I leave those things at home was because I'm, I'm going around on different maps. Recatching everything, you know? So the baits I won't be using, I'm leaving behind. Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting you to win. Hey man, I wasn't playing to win either, you know. Just for the content, man. Something different, you know. It's all good, man. <laughs> Large but works too. Yes, sir. Oh, what was that? I got some pretty nice markers out there. How can I talk to the devs? I want to send them a nice friendly message. Yeah. That message won't be friendly, man. But be careful of the... Be careful of what you're saying, Aiden. You know? You never know, man. Just be careful. You got x series Cray? x series no, I think this is the only X-rays I have right here. The one from Weeping Willow. We're getting a bite. I've got some nice markers here, bro. 295. Okay, it was 97. That's a weird fish.
and the one billion dollars. Oh, no, 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 that's not possible, man. Not gonna happen. But hey, John, any more competitions for the day? I you, I see you got top water rodeo. Uh, what, what else was it? A few more competitions, man. I don't think I'll be around to do any of those, though. Yeah, there's a bass competition out Mud Water River. When last have I been to Mud Water, bro? I think it was the 4th of July. Yeah, I think I stopped by there to collect some gifts, and that's it. I'm done for the day, bro. Up early for work. We'll have to catch up on the lake. And man, at least you did some, you know. You did some competition, you fished for a minute. So, hey man. Honestly, there's not much to in fishing plant either ways. It's either you do these recatch fish challenge, competition, what I think most birds are doing right now, or just fish on. Wait, hey, Mr. Crazy, is this all packs right here? I can't say, man. I don't know. Good luck and good night. I take it easy, John. See you next one, man. And uh, I appreciate you stopping by the stream and just being here with us, you know? What the hell is this, bro? <coughs> oh, look at that guy over there. He's in a kayak. Go get them, bro. <laughs> he must have watched some type of video with kayak fishing for Nile Perch. Yeah, I don't think you have the, the big bass boats yet. Eddie, Eddie, they try hard. Level 44. Let's see what equipment they have, bro. Let's do some investigation. You profile. <laughs> the heavy chaser. With the ambusher reel, that's not gonna help him, bro. Unless you go for like tiger fish or goliath. I think the goliath will smoke him though. Yo, Otto, what's good, bro? Welcome back, man. La Casadora, 70 pound. That's optimal for tiger fish. That's good to go. In my past days, I've caught uniques with this before tiger fish and Nile perch. Guys, what is the best setup for St. Croix to catch all the muskets, pikes, and are spending one hour to fight with one fish? Depending on your level, bro, I would say bottom sniper or cat boxer. For bottom rods, match rods, I would say brutus match rods, bro. And it should be good. But of course, it ought to be like level 38, 39 to get the right uh, equipment, bro. Okay, you got a nice spinning rod. This one is a no no. Cosmo cast? No, sir. Cat boxer? <laughs> so, the only rod I see that is good with right now is the Night Chaser and the La Casadora. And it should be good. Hey man, he spent his money on the DLC, so he gotta work, you know. I think he bought a DLC with seven days. 44 with seven days, he can make it, bro.
they can definitely make it. We'll give them a few markers so you can clearly see that he's new. Why would I send random guy markers, bro? Surely you know what he's doing. He's not that new. You've seen kayak fishing. You know what he's doing, bro. Definitely. You know exactly what he's doing, bro. You know the spot where he's going because you see him kayaking going all down the river. You know exactly what he's going after, what he want to fish for, and where to fish for them. I'm going kayak fishing. That's really fun in this map. Really fun, bro. And it takes no time to get a fish in when in a kayak. But the thing is though, if you fish the wrong spot, it might be a problem. Like the waterfall, it's not so good for fishing there with the kayak. If your anchor is down, you're good to go. But up, you might be in a mess right there. Debra, you heard about the guy who got heart attack? Oh, uh, no, sir. Where is he from? Let's find the right peak time, guys. Let's do this, you know. This day is super slow to my to, to be honest. It was in your stream. Oh, you talking Ethan? No, it's all good, bro. I thought you were talking about a guy that recently got auto attacked, you know, like Yeah, Ethan is good, bro. He's doing good. You know, we stop by the stream whenever he can. It was here early to be honest. In the first hour of the stream or two, it was here. All those peak times I'm skipping over are pretty good to fish, man. But not for the catfish, though. Night times for catfish, we can give it a try. What? Okay, let's see what that uh, guy's gonna catch. The guy that was in the kayak, let's see what's gonna catch, bro. I have still got 23 days left of DLC. Bro, you can definitely make it to where you can fish this map or be close to fishing this map, bro. What level are you right now, Otto? Not the I want to fish to be honest, but let's go there. 54. So you got 21 more levels to go to get here. That's going to take a while though. I think once we're 65 or 68 level in the game, it's going to be really challenging to gain XP. That's where you have to be grinding way more harder, bro. Way more time. My concussion has been messing with my head. Wait, it's still happening to you, bro? That was from last Sunday. How is it happening still? You unlock the map at 68. Yeah, that's for the Amazon. So you can always fish there. When you when you like, you know your DC is over. And that's good. 
because that means you don't have to be grinding or buying much DLC, you know. You already have a map with good fish on it. So either you grind on or you spend the cash bro. You got options and choice to make, you know. Yes, I have got a long concussion. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. And I think light as well make it um, harder for those things to go away. If there's too many light in, in your face, like, you know, while you're doing all that, it will make your headache worsen, bro. Is it worth buying the sport carp offer? What do you see is that? Hey, Emmanuel, what level are you, bro? By the way, why do people say I'm cheating if I use a trial rod? It just makes fishing too easy and you basically get all the fish too fast, you know? So, you're not fishing the right way, you're not doing the grind the right way, and that's why, bro. But it's in the game and everyone is abusing it, bro. Abusing it and using it, bro. Yo, Carnage, welcome to the stream, man. It says Sports Carp. Let's see what we have in this shop, bro. Level 30. Yeah, I don't think that's going to do you any good, Emmanuel. That DLC thing won't be good for you, bro. Is it here? Right here. Okay, there it is. Five dollars. So twenty Bitcoin, one car prod, fifty-four pounds. The really is not bad with the, the rod. That's a pretty good cool setup right there. Okay, so watch this, Emmanuel. Look at this, bro. So most of these baits right now will better work at weeping willow the best carp map in the game but you have to be level 50 to fish there and uh with this pack there's no access to that map so even if you buy this you can't go to the map bro you can't there's no way for you to fish that map so i would say don't spend the cash on this pack bro don't do it Yeah, don't do it, bro. What What's the key nut size in this thing, by the way? Sixty-six pounds is the biggest weight for this key nut. That's the max weight, though. Holding up to 154 pounds of fish in total. Yeah, don't do it, bro. Don't Don't go for it. Yeah, just focusing on leveling up, bro. I would say my advice is I'll use that five dollars right there to buy premium, so that way you can get faster cash and more XP. So that would be my best bet right now: buy premium to get faster uh, fish. Not not really get faster fish, but you know, cash wise, the fish will give more and more XP. That makes sense to you. Is there a premium for five dollars? Let's see. Premium. Then which of the sports is worth it? I just man. I don't really buy a DLC in this game. And I don't really want to tell you what to spend your cash on. But if you're buying a DLC, make sure that you have premium and a pan the parts from that DLC make sure that they give you access to fish the map you know
Yeah, at your current level, you're level 30. So your biggest map will be San Joaquin Delta, and then not no Michigan, and then Delta after. The float? What's this? No, that's whack. Fifty six, forty nine. Then what offer is worth at level thirty? I'm looking, bro, but as I said, I don't buy a DLC in the game. So, and I don't recommend, I'd, I'd, I will not be giving advice to spend your money on the game as well. You have to be the one to do that, you know. I don't want to, to buy a pack and then you say, yo, I told you to buy this pack and it's not worth it. I don't want to be the, the person you blame for it to go wrong. So, as I said, if you're looking for a pack, bro, look for good rods, a nice premium data fish and um, access to the map and it all depends on how much money you have to spend as well bro wish I had a congo boat so I could have three rods out at once I mean, it's pretty much the best boat in the game, to be honest, man. At level 30, I don't think there's going to be a good DLC for you at that level. Any good DLC would be Blue Cover Island, Amazon Maze, or the Congo. Those would be the most effective and helpful DLCs out there right now. Because they got days of premium, they got good rods, good boats in them that you're going to be using. Anything below that is only going to be like uh, rods or, or that's it, you know, event lowers or tournament stuff. Wait, who's that in the kayak again, bro? It's the same guy. Have we caught nothing as yet? No, sir. Oh, maybe he's doing the road kayak challenge, you know? Yeah, I can play late tonight, like really late. Gotta get on the grind, man. If not, I'm only at Emerald Lake and I have to rent over... Rent a net of over 15 kg. What should I do considering that the cheapest one is 14,000? And I only make 3k per net per full net. So what I should do, bro? Save up your cash, level up more for a better keep net. And my best advice in how to do that is to fish only night times at Emerald. Only fish night times, bro. That way you can skip whenever you want and just keep grinding at night. So there's no cooldown. For example, at daytime, when you want to move on, there's a cooldown to how many hours you have to wait to skip on, right? At night, there's none. And in my opinion, at night times, at Emerald, it's way faster to grind uh, walleyes. So save your cash, level up some more, 
and just keep grinding nighttime and you should be good bro trust me the best part for you is the float is the boat series because of the Zeus and the casting rod premium and keep not But what map can you fish with that one auto? That's the thing, bro. As I said, I don't recommend any DLC pack that's not going to give you a good map to fish, good rods, and the time, bro. Thank you. You're welcome, bro. Hey, yo, Emmanuel, just one good advice, bro. Don't be in a hurry to finish the game, you know? Don't rush the game, just fish and enjoy the game. The more you rush the game, the more mistake you make. And that's gonna mess you up, you know? Yeah, let me just say, bro, based off my experience, when I used to be rushing this game, the moment I unlock something, I went to, I went ahead and buy it. I lost tons of cash doing that. The moment I unlock a new map, I moved there. I broke rods, lose hooks, you know. I kept wasting money, bro. That way, it wasn't worth it. Don't just move on because you unlock something. Make sure that you... You have the right equipment, right baits, you know, stuff like that, right rods, because not all the maps will be good with the rod you have recently using. So think about stuff before you go fishing or you just ask someone who's more experienced at the game. They can party tonight. I might be able to. Hey, another question, Emmanuel. What platform do you play on? PlayStation, Xbox, or PC? Hey, nighttime is not active, bro. What's going on? In my entire time of playing fishing plant, I've only bought two DLC, Mongolia and the Congo. Of course, I bought some premiums in the past to give me boost XP and cash, and that's about it. But DLC-wise, I only have two out of all of these DLCs in the game. Normally the day I'm looking for is right around the corner, bro. That's weird. There it is. Day 9. At level 30. Which map should I fish? And what kind of fishing rod? Level 30. So the best map you have right now is Michigan, right? However though, there are much bigger fish there, like pikes, that will bite your line off clean. Your baits, your lures, they will destroy them. And you need titanium leaders to go there. That's your best map to fish right now. But if you don't have the equipment to go there, you need bottom rods, match rods, and uh, lower rods. Could be spinning or casting. If you don't have access to any of those things, just keep on fishing. Like, at, uh, let's see. White moose, for example. White moose is not bad for you right now. I would say grind white moose for a minute. 
get to level up some more for better gears and then you can move on to Michigan that's why most you don't really need much titanium leader bro you just need a bottom rod match rod and a spinning rod and you're good to go wait did I mess up bro oh my god man How? So you see, that's a prime example right there of daytime peak, you know. I skipped to the wrong daytime and I have to wait two hours or something like that to move on to the next day. That's not good. Sorry for my English, but the Romanian, no, you're good, bro. I do understand you, you know, and I'm not the best person when it comes down to English either, so we're in the same boat, man. Go crazy, come on. might change a bait again once more there you go finally some action finally hey Manuel you didn't answer the question though what do you play on Xbox PC or PS4 Oh, I didn't see a message, Otto. Yeah, you can send in the PlayStation message. I should have brought some bigger hooks with me, though. Like the 12 volt cam hooks, you know. I'm back. Welcome back, Tony. After I buy the 7kg net, I want to go to St. Croix. It's worth considering that I only have. What's that word? And the bottom line, I don't have a float. There is something in the comment I don't understand that like the rods they are talking. I do understand the, the bottom line or the bottom rod, but the other one, I'm not sure. But as I said though, Emmanuel, just fish white moose, right? Gain some more XP, gain some more levels. So that way when you reach Michigan, you have enough equipment to push on there bro so as I said with that five dollars you were going to spend on the, the fishing rod I would buy a premium with that bro premium that would help you out a lot man you will level up way faster and you gain way more cash but you have to put the time in it The 
it was a really nice guy where where I went fishing today. He gave me loads of boilies and pellets and some rigs. So you guys were all carp fishing today. Yeah, I'm on PlayStation. I wish we could add it, add each other, bro. That way I could have helped you more, you know. Yeah, there is no cross-platforming uh, fishing plant. However, though. I can show you the rods in the shop, the rods and so on, titanium leaders and stuff like that bro, if you want to see them I can show you them. Someone caught a nice 35 pound carp, that's a beast right there bro, the biggest one of the day right? What kind of carp was it? What do you think about the new update with clubs? Club wise, I think it's okay, you know. That way you can fish with members who are willing to join your club. And again, when you fish with, with players or in your club, you can gain more XP that way as well. There is a thing where you gain XP from fishing with your club members. So I would say it's an okay thing they had in the game, you know. I'm more into the, the the retrieval mechanics and the boat fishing with friends, you know. And also the fish type that's gonna add it to the map. And Kaden, welcome to the stream man. Welcome to the stream everyone, you know. So everyone who's watching right now, welcome to the stream, man. Mine was really fat. <laughs> the carp. You said you were like 15 pounds, right? Right. Maybe if he if he hates some more uh boilies or you know the pellet thing is, he might have gained more weight, man. What are you fishing for at the moment? Catfish, you know. I'm just trying to get some catfish and uh, you know I'm just going for the fight. Uh oh. Hey guys, now we see why I chose this peak time to fish. This day right here. This day is really active, man. Let me just say that. So, Emmanuel, where are you fishing right now, bro? At this very moment, where are you fishing? Heck, H2, H2, welcome to the stream, man. Alright, H20. Welcome to the stream, bro. The trophy. Crazy, bro. Oh, never mind. It's a uni. <laughs> Where are you? I'm at the Congo right now. And gaming entertainment. Welcome to the stream, man. I thought it was like a small trophy, but maybe not. I haven't been. Are you talking the spot? I can show you guys the spot if you want to. I haven't been fishing for catfish in a long time, bro. So all that, uh, 
What can I say now? Imagery of these catfish or big day get has been changed for me, you know. What the fishing for? At the moment, only catfish, bro. Uh oh. The level 44 guy has broke his leader. Wrong rod, man. Most likely, it's that's that's a problem. Wrong equipment. Hey, nothing like that, man. Nothing like that, bro. By the way, what did I say wrong, Game Entertainment? What did I say wrong? Bro, my lobby is full of low level and um, dear dad. <laughs> oh, look at you, Mr. Crazy. Hey, let me just say something. There might be low level players, but they might have been playing this game a long time, you know? Just restarting it. What map? The Congo. Yeah, lately I've been thinking of remaking another account, but at the same time, it's too close to the salt water map coming out, you know? I don't know when. But it's kind of pointless to make a new account when that's around the corner to come out or to be released, if that makes sense. Trophy or young one? Okay, just a regular one. What can I use to max out my 59, 58 pounder for every chaser? So 58 pound every chaser, I do have that. So I use a 57 pound reel, which is a Leviathan and um, 60 pound leader. So 60 pound line floral, 60 pound line leader, 57 pound reel, and that 58 pound rod. And you should be good to go, bro. It should be good to go. It depends on the reel you're using and how big the line and leader are, you know? The max drag. If I wanted to max drag these rods, I can do that right now. With the right leader length and um, pound wise, I can do that. What do you play on? PlayStation. And uh, my body from late to the comments, you know? Come on, go crazy. Hey, if you want me to show you that um, exactly setup I have for the Every Chaser, let me know, man. I can go make it right now and show you. You good though? At, at the game? I'm just okay at the game, bro. I'm just like anyone who's playing fishing plants, you know? I just make guides and videos and, you know, just to make it easier for player. Was just wondering how you did it. Oh. Yeah, just once everything balanced out, bro. You should be good, man. What's this? Uh oh. Don't do this fishing plant. Come on, don't do it.
Yo, if this fish dived on him, it's cool, bro. Come on in. Yes, sir. Unique. Boom. My bad, guys. I didn't want to release this fish right there. I could have shown the fish more. So, my apology, you know? Okay, that's our second unique. We now need the Vandal Catfish unique, and then we can move on. I have to upgrade my tackle anyways. When I watch, you will get excited. And then sometimes, that's what you need, bro. You just need someone to, you know, give you that feeling to play the game. And you should be good to go, man. Yo, Zeb, what's good, bro? Been a while, huh? Welcome to the stream, man. Oh, that's the auto online as well. Yes, sir. You have been working much lately? I know that feeling man, I know that business of, you know, on the grind, making the bread. Hey man, as long as you're staying safe out there, and you're good, that's all good with, good with me, you know. And welcome back to the stream man. As I said, been a while, so, I wasn't being updated what's going on. First time on in five days or so. No worries, Otto. The bull sharks are still there, you know. All trophies, undersized trophies, and young ones. Oh, another thing, guys. So, if you guys are familiar with the tri rod, everyone's been using it for sharks and um, competition wise, that thing won't be possible anymore. So there's going to be a thing in the game, if a fish is too big, uh, there's going to be an in indication telling you that the rod is too light to lift over the fish, you know? So, not possible anymore, man. Unless someone find a way to break the game again. Thanks to all the update. You're really a unicorn, man. <laughs> unicorn. Hey. My fighter shark is 72 in the world on leaderboard. Yeah, that thing is really easy to catch, bro. Okay, I know I can stay here and keep fishing. Oh my god, I did terrible in the competition. That hodge in one place. That's crazy, bro. What do I know? I don't see any family. I mean, persons I actually know and I've talked to before. I don't see any one of them in the top 10. Tough, bro. I probably will stream around my birthday. What is that? Okay, let's change spot for a minute, right? Let me show you guys something. So look at this guys. My rod is 86 pounds, right? My reel is 86 pounds as well. The line is 88, right? So when it comes down to max drag, make sure that your leader and your line is actually the same or the leader is actually just a tad bit bigger than your line. So if I really wanted to max drag this, I need a leader that's 80 something. Let me see if I can find one. I would say 88 to 86 around that size for my rod to be maxed out. Uh, where my leader is at? Come on now. There you go. 86. 
So I'm gonna change all these to 86 uh, liter. And I should be able to max drag them. So if you realize, basically all of my, my gears are, are balanced out. And it should be good. I'm gonna try 214 and 210 auto hooks. And of course, there is one thing in the game as well. There's this weird thing where you might get less bites because the leader length or the leader color will send the fish away. You know, they can see the line and everything. So that way, they're not attracted to the bait that much. So if I don't get any, any much bite here, I'm switching to something different, like the floral. Okay, let me change some things and get back to you guys. Give me a second. Wait, how much kg is weight? It, it weights. Wow. For what? <coughs> okay. You just got bait. I'm gonna put these with the small minnows. I might try prawns. I don't know, man. Let's see. And it's the same thing for my uh my my casting rod, eighty-eight pound rod, eighty-eight pound reel. The line is eighty-eight pound as well, but the rig is eighty-eight as well. So you see. Everything is pretty much balanced out, bro. It's 88 across the board. This way, you can max drag your equipment and you're good to go. You know? So that's about it, man. It's pretty much equal or close to each other in pounds. But you can make exceptions too, you know? There are ways you can make exceptions, like a, a weak rod with a strong reel. Sometimes that can work as well. Hey, is that KG for what, bro? For the, the rod or something else? I don't really want to fish with prawns here, to be honest, man. I'm going to cut bait. So I should be able to max drag all of these bottom rods. The moment I get a bite, I should be able to. Have they updated so you can see the biggest fish of all time or is it weekly? I think it's like recent, like you know a few hours of fishing. They update the, the, the leaderboard. It's a daily thing. It's not a weekly, it's a daily thing. I don't think so. You can't see my fish cause I did not catch it this week. As I said, a daily thing. That's when they're gonna update it. And then, you know, they remove it after like a couple of hours, maybe a day, if someone break that record. What fish was it? Come on, go crazy, man. Electric eel. 19.979 kg so that's like what 42 45 pound eel i'm not so good with kg bro not gonna lie to you guys you know
Oh, I think I'm going to change the oak size here. I can check. There you go. And there you go. I can max drag now. You see? Even though my leader is weaker than my line, which is 86 pound leader, and my line is 88. It doesn't matter that much, you know, because they're not far different. If my leader was 80 and my line was 88, then definitely you can't max drag. You know? But keep in mind, as I said, sometimes the leader can deflect the fish or not attract the fish that much because of the color. But I braid the line. The braid, the braid line are blue or green, right? If you can see it, the fish can also see it. And most time that's what happened. So best recommendation is floral which is clear it's transparent you can see through it and it's blending with water if that makes sense now my stuff isn't try because people are saying that i'm cheating well the thing is bro once i stop using the try rod the other match rod will be taking way longer to get sharks bro They might be using the same thing as well, just not getting the fish like you, bro. Fishing the wrong peak time, wrong bait. Hey, man. It's in the game, and it's been in the game. If it was... If the dev wanted to take it out, they would have done it, you know? Man, just keep fishing on, bro. It's your best option right now, and it's not cheating. It's just, what can I say now? Not the right way of fishing. When it comes down to cheating, bro, we're talking about hacks, you know? We're talking about, you can see when the fish spawn in, or, you know, you don't miss a bite, or, you know, things like that, bro. I wouldn't say it's cheating, I would say it's just unfair use of the rod because you don't use that rod to catch bigger fish than what you should catch, and that's it. What's this? Level 28? Oh, let me see what this guy has, bro. DJ 2010. I want to see what DSC bought to get there. The regular one or the one with the boat? £44 or £44.045. Pound. Was it the biggest one, Zeb? Was it like, you know, number one leaderboard for the heels? In the past, before I've caught a leaderboard fish, for example, a Mako Mako, I've caught a 35 pound uh, Payara and they removed my fish and replaced with something smaller, which makes zero sense, bro. If no one hasn't break your record or broke it, don't remove it, man. That's not how things work, you know? When you're removing leaderboard first place, it always have to be something bigger. Always. Not something smaller, bro. But in Fish and Planet, they, they remove it. 
Whether it's the biggest one and it's still holding that record, they remove it, bro. Which is weird. What, the sharks don't make the wake anymore? And don't eat the bait? It might just be a weird day, or your depth for the leader is different. If the leader is like 30 inches down, you won't see the wake of the shark, bro. Hey, keep in mind, the maze is really deep, you know? So if your leader is all the way down there, you can't really tell. Unless your bait's been moving or you get that thing from the bell. It's 15. As I said, man, it might just be a weird day of fishing. Or they could fix it. Wish. I haven't heard of anyone fixing anything in Fishing Planet, you know. But it's a possibility. This thing is right there, man. Come on in. Nice trophy. Oh, I just had the fish right there. I need to change the hook size of this, right? So going off. I noticed not many players are grinding knife perch right now. Yeah, no one's really going for Nile Perch. Except Roger. Oh, yeah, I need to check something right. Level 28, level 27. Holy crap. Oh, no, I don't want to send a message, bro. I want to see your profile. Okay, uh, view profile. Man. We're getting a bite. He dropped it. Nice. Okay, let's do some investigation, man. Okay, every chaser, not good. So he bought the, the pack with the boat. I can tell. Yes, he did. Yep. Okay, so this kid got 30 days to fish here. He got 30 days to fish here. Bro, I swear they have fixed these tries. What's going on? So it should be good bro because with that boat pack, the original one from the the, the DLC for the Congo, you get a nice match rod and a nice bottom rod. So you should be good. No bites anymore. Say that after you try a couple of days bro. If you fish back to back days at least three peak times and nothing not nothing happened, then you can say that. I have fish days at Amazon Maze before where nothing bites bro. In good peak time, the same one, partly sunny, 7 to 9, and nothing much bite. So you can't really say they're nerfed or anything if you haven't fished a couple of days to actually make that conclusion, you know?
Love to hear that. Bells ringing right after getting a fish in. Yes, sir. Too many bells, though. Not good. Max drag. And honestly, man, even though you max drag in the game, it doesn't really help you that much either because the bigger fish will still fall like crazy, you know? It just makes you feel more comfortable fishing with these rods when you can max drag them. Knowing that you can turn up everything to the max without breaking it. That patch caught little ones. Some days are like that, bro. You know? Some days, instead of catching trophies, catching the young ones and the undersized trophies where it's like 285 pounders. And that's it. Not all day is going to be productive, you know? Bro, the trout is better than ever. Wait. You're also using it, Mr. Crazy? Okay, let's see. Nope, nope, nope. The other guy. What was he? Wait, someone left? Yeah, I think I checked this guy's profile earlier. Yeah, this is the one that of the boat, right? The level 27 guy left. He quit. Hey, that Mr. Crazy for you right there, you know? You know, surprisingly back then you told me you're not coming back to Fashion Plant until the new map. I think back then you were playing Valorant or something like that. I'm surprised to hear, man. Was a long time ago. When was it? I would say a couple of months, bro. But the way you let this, the way you make it sound is like, you know, you're literally not coming back onto the new map. Like, exactly then. Be right back. I thought I'm going to be right here, bro. So you're only fishing for ch uh, sharks, Mr. Crazy, or are you promised to? Don't, oh my god, bro. He spit the bait. Now I'm in the Congo right now. Any unique so far? Uh, let's go to one more spot. This spot I'm going to was actually the first place I fished when I when I came here. You also got some nice catfish on the boat dock area too. Some nice ones. I'll feed for some tiger fish, you know, like I want to go get some after this day.
using the bottom rods too you know now it perch it's just gonna be easy man I want to do something different you know and that's where the catfish came in can I make it right here You also got some nice tiger fish in this area too. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, this is my catfish area. This is actually the first spot I fished when I first came here. Literally. But the thing is, I really fished here after that really Welcome back, man. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. He took a small moment to, how can I say, get close enough where he's just sitting smoothly in, then he dive right down. It's a trick, man. Really tricky fish right there. Bro, all I want to be doing right now is give me a to go carp fishing. I mean, you should have the, the right recipe to go fishing, right? You don't want to have the right fruits though. But you don't have to use the fruits. You can use like, you know, sweet peas, sweet corn, stuff like that, man. And you have the option to buy the bottom rods too, so you should be good. Or you can just wait until level 60 to get the fruit and you should be good. I don't want to waste my time. I mean, what? how many days is they have remaining? 26? 24? I mean, you can take a break, you know, fish for a day. A few hours and go carp fishing and then back to sharks if you want to just know that you have to have enough money though because you're gonna need rods real recipe mix you're gonna be needing those so a couple hundred of a couple hundred of thousands you know to get there I don't know 8th of August as I said, if you're curious, you can take you can take a travel, you know. I did some electric here earlier. It was fun. Oh yeah, those things give pretty good cash and XP, man. The only thing is you can't farm them. All right. It'll be so overpowered if you can farm those things back to back. to use small rods for some nice xp oh yeah the eels don't really fight that much you know i would say anything from 35 pounds to 40 should be really good you don't need big rods to get those fish i don't think i've ever caught an electric eel that went crazy you know
I got 8k XP for common. I think I like a couple thousand for like the Unix, at least 11 or so, if I'm not mistaken. As I said, man, they're really good for cash and XP. And they're only just 40 pounders, 44, 45, you know? And with that premium, the boost of the XP and cash, crazy, man. I think next time, I think next time I'm coming here, I'm bringing better baits with me. These what the ones I have right now can be used, but you know, I do have better choices to pick from. Because after a while I get bored of the bull sharks. That's gonna always happen, bro. That's why back in the days, well, back in the days. I choose Bolivia over Amazon when Bolivia was way better, bro. Red tail catfish gilded. You know, it wasn't just one fish you're grinding for. Tons of tro uh, trophies and uniques. Crazy, man. And the fight they give you, bro, is just good, you know. Sharks are just like, you know, some days you get them really easy, really fast. And with a trial rod, Getting them in really fast, make it way easier. But uh, they nerfed Bolivia, it was that good. They nerfed it. It's still good in my opinion, but not as frequent for the Unix there. If they didn't mess with Bolivia, I would choose that map over the Amazon any day. Any day, I'm telling you, bro. The rotation I had for that map was just god tier. Oh, there you go, the kid John again. Let's check his profile out before he quits. Like, I want experience of fight because it's part of the game. I mean, you, you can do that, bro. Uh oh. So you got the pack with the boat. Why why is he not using the match rod though? All bottom rods. Well no, the Cosmo cast. That's bad bro. He should have switched out the Cosmo cast for the match rod. But he didn't. No reason though, no reason why he did that. I'm on 1.5 mil right now. Yeah, look at it this way: that five, that, that 500,000 will only be for carp fishing right there, bro. You're gonna be needing bottom rods, real line, leader, right? That's a couple of hundred thousands right there. And then the baits comes onto recipe. Another couple of hundred. K right there you have to travel to the map as well and that's it once you do that make your mix you should be good to go man you won't make you won't be making much cash like you spend to get there but that's not what you're there for you're there for the XP and the experience for yourself so at some point you're sacrificing cash for XP to fish there You're not spending any more money for the game anymore because I'm spending all my money in fishing in real life. That's the thing, man. If you're not smart when you're playing games, you're gonna be wasting your cash, you know? Buying stuff that won't be helpful until you realize that you're wasting it. Of course, you got some good things in the game, but 
you know, if you think like this, bro, all those DLC you bought in the past, right? For the Amazon maze. You could have saved that all up together and get the Congo. And that's it. One map you need and you're level up to level 80 in no time. But instead of you not knowing what you're doing, you spend on different DLCs and now you're getting smarter realizing that you could have bought the Congo if you did save up your cash, you know? But everyone make mistakes, man. Actually, I think I should be good to go, right? My kit is full of catfish. Okay, let's make let's do something different, guys. Let's make a move. Can we skip days? Yes, we can. And then after that, I'll be. It will it will be a spot rod. Yeah, you need a spot rod to cast the mix. So you know you basically spending cash on a bunch of things, bro. I am loving fishing in real life now. Way more fun than the game, bro. You know, I would say we are fishing plenty coming clutches when you can't go fishing that much. This game becomes really good in that situation, you know. And if you just want something to chill back and play without any hassle, this is it, bro. Okay, let's do something, something different. By the way, this part that I was talking about is real life. Oh, but the one I mentioned earlier, though, you don't need it in the game. You do need to have one. It's a must have. Okay, guys, gonna be changing from catfish to tigerfish. And of course, I'm also changing my Carolina rig to top water lower. We got some nice uniques today, you know, for the catfish. To be honest, I'm gonna leave the Amazon now. Just make your calculations first before you, you, you buy up everything, you know, at the right rods to put together, the right uh, baits for the carps and stuff like that, man. Recipes as well. Yeah, grinding one fish can be, uh, can take a toll on you when you just grind one over and over all day, you know. But look at it this way. It's necessary to do that because that's how you grind the levels to move up, you know. At your level, the map you're fishing, the best thing for you to catch are sharks. Our pamas are good too, but the time it takes you to catch one and the amount you can get per day for unique and trophies only one or maybe two. For sharks, you can get those things pretty fast, man. And uh, up to three trophies per day. Insane XP as well. So, you have to be looking on the, the things that's more e efficient for you. It should be good. Okay, let's do this. <coughs> Waffling? Is that, a, is that a word, bro? Where you get away from Mr. Crazy? Who taught you that, huh? Oh my god, look at this, guys. Everyone is grinding out a perch friend. Look at them. All just lined out crazy. That's cool, bro. 
that's cool, man. You taught me that goofball? Hell no. No one have ever heard me say that word before. No shot. Waffling. <laughs> hey man. The only thing that comes to mind when you say waffling is the food itself, you know? Waffles. Actually, I might just fish on boat to be honest. That's more effective for me. Oh, come on, peak time. Day 14. Wait, was it 14? Day 9. I'm on day 9 right now. Day 15. Oh my god, bro. Uh oh. I didn't see how much catch I made for the catfish. Because I'm in such a hurry to just get the right peak time. Stupid, bro. And that there's no way for me to check right now, to be honest. I can fish this day right here, but I don't want to wait to skip and spend my bay coin. You know, I don't want to do that. Should I get all the best rods at the best pot? Wait. Should I get all the best pot stuff like reason rod? I would say that, bro. You know, get the most strongest rods you have there. The better equipments, man. Yeah, Mr. Crazy, you're losing it, son. You're losing it, man. Alright, let's, let's do this. When it comes down to spot rod, though, you don't need a big one. But, you know, just to be safe, bro, buy the best ones you have, you know? Yo, trust me, it's been like that for years, man. Years. Alright, let's let's go crazy. I think I'm 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 in the right area. Will I be able to catch a unique today? Let's find out. update this Tuesday wait you're asking or you telling me and because I see a question mark honestly bro I have no idea when the update is gonna come out and even if, it if even if it comes out on Tuesday console players won't have it until the end of the month you know PC will be the first platform to have it then console players, Xbox, PlayStation, you know, regular stuff, man. Should I use carp or bottom rods? If you want a big fight, bro, big fish, 90 pounders, 100, I would go with bottom rods, man. You know, go with some, uh, Heavy chasers. The carpers they will be giving you a lot of fight, but the time it takes to get in one fish, bro, you might lose the others, you know. That's what they said. And uh, welcome to the stream, man. 
My apologies for not welcoming you, you know, my bad. The heaviest of the chasers you have, the 58 pounds. Nice trophy. Hey, what platform do you play on, bro? Is it Cincinnati Kid? <laughs> what platform do you play on, man? I think Mr. Crazy is going crazy right now, man. He's losing it, you know? He's reaching the point where it's just too much for him right now. No worries. In a minute or so, the buy should be picking up really fast. Wait, how long I've been fishing for? Almost four and a half hours. Uh, we're gonna be catch some. We're gonna be catching a few uniques, and then we're gonna take a break right there. Oh, I missed that bite. Come on, bro. If I have enough time, bro, I'll stop by auto. What do you need help with? When I come too close to the spot, I don't think I am though. Just want to do this max drag thing. Oh, not max. The mix thing. No match rods? No, sir. They will, they will go for match rods, bro, but I think the bottom rods are more effective. Way more for carbs. And the good thing is, bro, you know, if you haven't experienced those other low level maps like October River or, you know, fish blue crab islands that much, the ever chasers would be good, just the right rods to fish those maps, bro. So th there won't be a waste of money because, you know, as I said, if you're going back to just experience those maps, those rods will be just perfect for those fish there. There you go. Finally, man. Give him a unique. Yes, sir. For every chaser's right.
I mean, you know, you can start off with two every taste rice if you want, bro. I normally fish with four for carps because, you know, when I do go carp fishing, I'll farm those things like crazy. Good luck, bro. Thank you, Roy, and welcome to the stream, man. But for you, Otto, because you just started fishing there, bro, and you know, I wouldn't want to spend all the cash. Buy two at first, bro. Just two rods. I have got three. Okay, that's good then. Don't waste too much cash, you know, because keep in mind, bro, those recipes will be expensive. There won't be anything cheap, you know. That's one unique down, guys. I could move on if I wanted to. Come on, come on. There you go. But I'm looking for the Goliath tigerfish as well. The question is though, how long will it take to get the unit Goliath here? I know for sure they're here, but you never know when they're gonna strike, you know. I think one day I'm gonna do like a stream just only for Nile Perch, just grinding some more cash, you know, to 30 mil or something like that. What reels? The Leviathan 57 pounds. I'm not sure what uh, number for Leviathan reels, but I know the pound of it. 57. Okay, bro, see you tomorrow. I have to cut my video tomorrow, and that's not easy to do. I mean, just take your time to edit your videos, Tony, and you got this, bro. I appreciate you stopping by the stream, and you know, hopefully seeing the others when it, whenever you can. Yep, got that. Yes, sir. Now, all you need is just the line and leader now. You need that uh, 60.5 pound line and the same thing for the leader. Yep, of course. Hey man, as I said, bro, appreciate it, you know. Uh oh, I think we might be getting a bite on that mattress right there. Bottom rod, my bad. Or maybe not. Okay, let's make a plan. If this Goliath tiger fish takes a while to get, we can move on and then rotate back to this spot. You know? What point line, bro? I have to plug my controller here to my headset. 60.5, well, 60.5 point line. And it should be good. And the same thing for the leader as well. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. I didn't see how big the fish was. Oh, this is a unique, bro. Definitely. If such a unique, it's like a nice big trophy. I chat. I haven't asked all day, but if you guys are enjoying the stream so far, drop a like, man. You know? Unicor trophy. I'll take it. 60.5? Yes, sir. Uh, let's get moving on. On to the next spot. Oh, my chat is glitched. Lovely. You know, 
I'm not too surprised that I've been here today and not been Nile Perch fishing a lot, you know. Yo, turn a stupid boat. Look at that one, bro. Just grinding the. Wait, why are you not getting Nile Perch though? That's weird. Normal day should be getting that perch really fast, you know? What leader? Mono or floral? Floral. You should be able to get the big 60 pound floral, bro. Definitely. You know, auto going to go carp fish, make someone do carp fishing this week as well, like a stream or something. But then again, you guys have been seeing that stream like a couple of weeks back, you know, I don't want to do it again. Unless I feel the vibe though. So in the weekdays, I might go carp fishing. I have to get everything ready though, all the recipes, the baits. Everything ready for the journey. Come on, come on, there you go. <coughs> Not the unique, but it's a trophy. I don't think so. Or it could be something smaller, I don't know. I've only got 60.5 mono. Oh yeah? Well, you can write that one for now. You can use it for now. Use the, the mono for now, bro. It's 12 bait coins if I want floral. Nah, 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 nah. Don't do that. Get the mono for now. The most important part of oversized carp fishing, bro, is that recipe, man. The recipe, the peak time, you should be good. The baits, you have tons of options for baits. You know, fruits, sweet corn, sweet peas. As long as you're using a recipe, that will attract the bigger carbs in. So don't really be expecting much because, you know, you don't have the right uh, bait, but you can get some nice uniques there with what you have right now. Okay guys, we got two uniques down so far. We can get at least one here, one to my right. And so we got four more uniques to get, if possible to get all of them today. With the right rotation, that's four uniques right there. And in the past, I've heard players catching more than one duplicates of one unique, you know? I myself never done it before, so I can't say. PVA sinkers or feeders? Just regular sinkers, man. When you're using spot rod to make the mix, bro, you don't need PVAs or the, the sinker, you just need regular sinkers because you're going to be mixing everything with the spot rod. <coughs> just regular sinkers, regular hooks, you put your bait on it, you cast in the areas where the carbs are, and it's put over it, and that's it, bro. Six ounce. Yeah, you can use six or seven because you won't be casting too far, you know.
come on normally the unicure is really easy to catch but I've noticed back in the days I fished there like a couple of days and uh, it didn't bite that fast you know so I'm wondering what happened I'm not going to spend a ton of time here though definitely not that made the right rotations before the peak has ended or in, in its bad peak time we have already caught the trophy the young one so we're just looking for the right one which is the unique and we should be good And to be more effective as well, maximize my chance of getting fish. I'm also using the live baits. You don't really need them, but just to be doing something different. It's actually working. You two pop and the, you just really straighten and it's popping. What? Oh, this is possible, bro. It's like straighten slow retrieval, but it's popping for you. Nah, not really a fan of that popping right there. I want the lure to be moving, making the, the splashes in the water. What hook size? I don't think you have the 14 odd hooks with you. So, anywhere from 10, come on. Anywhere from 10 to 14 odd hooks should be good, bro. Okay, by the time we reach level 30 a.m. on this day, we're moving on to the right. So we might have to come back to this spot after. Come on man, I know you're here. I've got some nice tunics in the past here before chat. And, and, and as I said, really fast as well. This part, I would guarantee you guys, back then, like, a, a definitely unique instantly. But as I said, lately, it's been weird, man. For some reason why, I don't know. Curd, though, is it any good? It's good for a certain number of fish. Carps do go for it as well, so you can you can try some. You can buy a few of it and try it. So you can use sweet peas, sweet corn, the regular corn, regular peas, and um, that bait right there. Let me know what you think, bro. But as I said, though, the mix is the important part. Right, let's move on. I'm definitely coming back here. Definitely. Well, if we do, we do get some fish to bite. I have a rod for each bait. Yes, sir. That should be close enough. Yeah, that's good enough.
This spot is mainly for Goliath tigerfish. No African tigerfish is in this spot. I have never caught one here before. <clears throat> nope, wrong rod, man. And of course, if I wanted to make this fishing more uh, effective, more asso as well, I could be fishing from land with everything. All the bottom rods, match rods, you know, let them go crazy. But I'm over here right now, just using my lure as well. And I think I'm more comfortable this way, you know. Should I get the number 10 auto carp hooks? No, not necessarily bro, you just need the regular ones. Use the ones you have bro. Yeah, I could just tell that thing was going to go off bro. Will I be able to get this one in time? Yes, I did. This spot can also be a nice catfish spot, but it ought to be in the late evening. Late evening hours are best right here. Where those two markers are at. Oh, that's, right. that's going off too, bro. Yep, most likely. Yep, I knew it, bro. I knew it. I don't think we're gonna be we're gonna be making it in time to get this second fish right there. What is it like though? Is it bigger than this one? Uh oh. Mm, not quite to be honest. Bro, should I sell my old cute net for 300 bay coins? Wait, didn't you already sold it? I thought you did back then, bro. Gotta keep an eye on that brother right there. What do you think? You know, what do you think you should do? I can't fight the fish straight on because we need to keep an eye on this one right there. Because I have one from each DLCs. I mean, you can, bro, if you think it's the best. Or if you don't need it, you won't be using it anytime. You can do that, bro. I'm gonna buy the Wild Africa pack and start on level 2, playing 4 hours now, I'm level 48. So amazing, Congo. Oh, yeah. If you know what you're doing, man, and if you have the time to grind that map, in no time, you can make some serious cash, some serious levels, and you're good to go, man. You can definitely make it, bro. And welcome to the stream, bro. Uh-oh. Don't do it. I 
Oh my god. How long am I fighting this one for, bro? This one is closer. No, wrong one, bro. I want seven seven hundred and sixteen bay coins now. Well, you have enough to spend on what you need, you know. I would mainly recommend it to be on days when you're skipping. But since you add the premium, you won't be needing the bay coins as much. You know? Hey bro, so what fish you're grinding for the Congo right now to level up? Um, this is another trophy right here, definitely. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it would be because that thing was fighting like crazy, you know. It should be a possibility of having another trophy and then maybe a unique if I'm lucky enough. I want to try fishing I want to try fishing for tiger. Tiger fish but I don't have bottom best rods. Do you know spots for casting spot? Oh yeah. When you say casting spot, you're talking about lower rod or your match and bottom rods, bro. So right where I'm fishing, you can also go on land here and fish as well. Uh, over here, by the waterfall, you can go on land and fish towards the waterfall if you wanted to. And uh, this spot might be really hard for you to find. It's right here. There's a crossway. You can stand on right here and fish out here. Some nice tiger fish, bro. Tiger fish, goliaths, they're all here. Tons of unique, tons of trophies. This place is pretty awesome, man. The best map in the game overall. What aromas do I need? Tutti Fruity, X Flavor Supreme, and Sweet Crucian. You're welcome, bro. And I do have tons of guides that will help you as well. So if one day you need a fish and you're not sure where to get it, you can search up and uh, you will find a fish, bro. Find a guide for it or something. I got tons of videos on night perch, tiger fish, catfish, you know, rotation wise. They're all here, man. Peak times. And if you have any questions, I'm here right now, so it should be good. See, so crucial? <laughs> no, not crucial, crucial. And X flavor? Yes, sir. Will it be possible to get a bite here for the unique? Oh yeah. Come on. Oh haha, <laughs> you missed it bro. No shot. That could have been the unique right there. I can't say if it was, but it could have been.
and the CLS are big brain. Nah, not for the mix I use, bro. Other carp mix might use it, but the one I use, I don't need those other aromas for it. We might be getting a bite on the left bottom rod. Now you need the ground bait and the particle. For particle you need amp corn and oil cake. Let's pop our spoon for a tiger. Popper bro, definitely major popper. You see what I'm using right now? This one is good really good but you also have another popper cause i mean not cause call the christmas popper that thing is crazy bro but spoon versus popper popper all day definitely should i just buy one of these what Oh, the aromas? Yeah, for now you can only buy one, bro. You know, you don't need much. They're pretty much... They can do some really good fishing without finishing, bro. You know? Keep in mind, Otto. You're only going to this place because, you know, you want somewhere new to fish. So, you know, going all out right now will be the wrong play. Just go there, try to enjoy the map, get used to it, and then you can actually make up your mind after getting used to it, you know? When you have your break, G, I can't say, man. The thing is, sometimes stream is like, you know, you want to take a break or you just want to keep doing your thing. So it's like a moment where you have to decide what to do. For now, I'm actually fishing, you know, so I'm enjoying the time I have until I'm like, yep, it's time to go. If every chaser is, if I use every chaser's bottom rod, level 50, it's okay for a fight with tiger. It's okay to fight a tiger fish with them, bro, but don't use it for anything else, you know? And make sure that you have enough line on the reel as well, because these things are not so easy to fight. With the right heavy chaser rather than reel, I can see you using them for tiger fish, bro. But number one recommendation, have enough line because they can go really far out there in the water guarantee that bro why am i lagging so bad come on i'm missing this one right oh that was unique right there guys definitely that was unique I could tell from the head and its tail. I could tell. Oh, 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 that's two fish now we missed. That could have been the unique. No way, man. I do want to move from this spot, but at the same time, I want to just get the unique before I move. Carp rival. Big Riverine and Catfish Destroyer. You do need those ground baits. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, this could be the unique right there, guys. Bro, how many uniques have I missed? In the stream? 
Not really much, bro. I missed a couple of them. Just that they're, they were biting weird, you know? They didn't come up close enough to the lower, or I could be really too fast. But this one right here should be good. I'm talking about me. I'm confused, bro. How could you miss Unix when you're not fishing, you know? You're getting ready for, for the fishing itself. If I use Carolina rig, it's okay for tiger fish. Or must I use titanium? Always use titanium, bro. Always. Only use the, the Carolina rig for either catfish or Nile perch. Mostly Nile perch though. Recommended, you know. In the time I have played fishing plant, I'm saying how many level level missed. How many how many I have missed on lower. Hey, that's gonna happen, bro. You know, not everything you can catch. I think you will end up losing more fish than catching everything in the game. What method? What for the mix? You don't need any method, bro. You just need your aromas, your ground bait, your particle, and that's it. No methods. Hey guys, what size unique will this be? What do you guys think? I think you might be too late to ask a question. Because it's about to come in the boat really soon. Let me see, 95 or 85. 95? It should be 95, bro. 94.6. And there you all of it. I like that blue thing on his tail, bro. Watch that. I'm not sure what that is, bro. It's like a fin, but it's blue. Blue or purple. Let's move on. Okay, the spot I'm going to next, I might be too late for it. Not gonna lie to you guys. But we're gonna fish on anyways, you know? Let's do something different though. Yeah, I watch your video for many times before I buy the pack and make a second account. Wait, you did? Um, I appreciate it, bro. Hundred and forty grams of an unique bro. Wait, you talking the amount of fish I have right now? Or just that one unique right there? Right, let's change this thing right there. I'll be also using the match rod where I'm going. This time I won't be on, on the boat. I'll be fishing on land. No, how much I need for it to be unique? Oh, you're talking the amount of pounds that you need for a fish. Wait, what fish are you going for, Mr. Crazy? Are you primers or sharks? I think I have everything. Okay, don't leave your spot right at home now, because that thing is really important. Goliath. Yep, I use your spot for fishing oil perch and still worth it until now. Oh yeah. 
I've been to a few spots today and you know I got some nice 400 pounders however though today's stream will not be like that you know I think I'm going like sticking with the catfish tigerfish today oh I messed up I really messed up bro I took the wrong path to get to the spot where I'm going Yeah, sometimes it's just good to go back to the, the spot on the, on the map. Could be a pond, a river, a lake. And just, you know, try the spots that's been working for you to see if they're still good. And so far, they're still good, man. I don't really see nothing has changed so far. Even though I haven't been tiger, I mean, my perch fishing today that much. However, though players in my lobby have been going for them and I have not seen much uniques either for them so I'm wondering what's going on but for me earlier the uniques were biting I think a couple of us were in the lobby earlier me Eric and John we were fishing here earlier and we were all getting uniques to bite so I know maybe the other players are not Fishing the correct peak time, baits, or so on. You know? Who knows, man? Okay, at this spot, two bottom rods, two match rods. Not gonna lie to you guys, it might be too late for me to get the Unix here. But, we're doing it, you know? So a second account. I do have a second account as well. Actually, this is my second account to be honest. My main one was my how can I say this? The one I get the, the experience of fishing from, you know. I want to change something. That should be here. Wait, what? <coughs> yeah, I think I messed up really good. Hold on, guys. Oh, the rod is the SE. I don't want to use this rod here, bro. I don't want to risk breaking my DSC rods, man. Yeah, I messed up really good, huh? Yeah, I think I might want to stick with the, the bottom rods only. For some reason, I put on the wrong line in these rods. Why? You have no idea. Oh, come on. <coughs> Yeah, I have to stick with all bottom rods now. No mattress today. Wait, how did I get the wrong line though? That makes no sense. <laughs> did I miss something? So do I just mix it all? Now you have to add the right amount, bro. The right amount. <coughs> Wait, let me check something, bro. Yeah, I don't have any more line with me. Why? I have no idea. Oh, I see. They're on the bottom rod, bro. You have to add the right amount of recipe to make the mix. Okay, you can do that, and when you're back, let me know if you understand what you should do. 
you know. Normally, I fish this spot first, then move on to the spot at the waterfall. Because in my opinion, this is the best spot right here. Both tigerfish, both goliaths are here. Unique trophies. Tons of them. The other spot, you might catch maybe one at each spot. The one by the boulder in the middle of the water is one fish, the African tiger fish. The far right one that I caught the last unique hat, that's only for goliaths. The rocks of the waterfall, you can get both fish right there, both uniques. If I wanted to rank up today, I could. There's a few Nile perch, maybe another batch of unique tiger fish or so, and that's game over. Will I be lucky enough to get another unique? Oh, there's a big fish right there. Come on. I'm going to say trophy. Come on, come on, don't turn. Oh, he turned away, bro. I'm going to say trophy right there. Yep. Yeah, I just hope they don't mess with this map. When the new map comes out, you know? Because I think some players will be here grinding levels to get to the new map if they're allowed to grind the levels to get there. Just like we have to grind the maze to get to this map and believe it to get to maze when the new map comes out most players will be grinding here to get to there but then again i do think most players will be buying dlcs if that's possible so it's what a map bro everyone's gonna be eager to go there everyone Nice spot, bro. I'll try it soon. Oh, yeah. This spot been here from day one, you know? Really good, bro. Really good. I might be able to catch a, a thousand points of fish right here. If I'm lucky enough to get the unit to bite. And keep in mind bro, to fish the right peak time as well, you know. Partly sunny from 10 to 2 p.m. And the partly sunny morning. That day is pretty good as well. Not part of Sunday morning, just Sunday morning, my bad. That day you got the peak in the morning, one peak in the evening. That day is pretty good as well. Overall though, this day I'm fishing is a better one. You can make your rotation and still have enough time to fish each spot. And at the end of the day, 
there's a there's a chance that you get a knife perch just for your keep net. And boom, that's a full key net right there. Tons of money, tons of cash right there, bro. I'm going for at least a thousand pounds of fish today for tigers. At least. The thing is though, I don't normally fish with all bottom runs here. I use match rods in the mix. And uh, just an heads up with this part right here, at late evening, catfish do go crazy here. And at night time, this part is really good for tiger fish as well. So you know you got tons of fish here bro. It's not only tiger fish. The catfish are just more active in late evening, peak times. That's a Goliath. I'll take it. Anything to get my weight up, bro. In the kit that that is, you know. Regular one or a trophy? I'm going to say trophy. Nope. Regular one. Yo, something to the popper, bro. Holy crap. I always try to do that, you know. Let the popper just be there. Waving around in the water, something goes for it. But I never strike in time to upset that fish, never. Why can I only get seven ounce of the oil cake, but you can get eight? Just re-add that same oil cake, bro. So go on the same one you had and re-add it again. And it will go up to eight. Yeah, most players gonna have a problem with that thing right there. But I think someone explained to me is because of you going over the amount of mix that that only the particle can go up to. But just re-add it and you should be good, man. It worked for you? Nice. You know, in the past, I've also tried oversized catfish mix here before. But it was just plain old catfish destroyer. You know? How do I say resize a recipe? Oh, how do you save it? You don't have to save it, bro. Honestly, don't save it. Just Memorize the, the numbers and it should be good. The last time I saved my recipe, my game bugged out on me. No bites. So don't do that. I would say just try to remember everything like the numbers or just write it down, bro. Trust me, if you if you do love carp fishing. You can remember that anytime you go there to fish. Trust me, man. Yeah. I think I did save my mix, bro. And uh, nothing was biting after that. Nothing. And then my friend saved hers as well. And nothing was happening for her either. 
we both had to delete the mix, the name of it, and then we we're back on track, you know. I don't know why, but yeah. I fished five or six night perch, my kin at almost full, bro, even though I don't keep uniques. Oh, yeah, just a couple of nice trophy sized fish, a couple of undersized trophy like the 100 pounders, 180, 150 or so. That's a full kin bro. Just a couple of them. That's the thing with that's the thing with night perch. They're fast to get, and it's like, uh, quantity. No, it's quality over quantity. You know, because they're bigger. Meaning, the more you catch, the faster you keep that full. You know, and you only need a few more. Now for uh, tigerfish goliath. That quantity over quality because you can catch so many of the tiger fish. But still, you won't be keep, you, won't, you won't be pulling your kidney so fast, you know? But they do give you a lot of XP though. I think in the past I've done a video about tiger fish and uh Nile perch. What most players been like, you know. How can I say this? Competing about what to catch. At the end of the day, it all comes down to what you prefer. Fast by a trait or something that gives you more XP but takes more time to fish for. Wish this topic comes in clutch. Quality over quantity or quali quantity over quality, you know? So you do have two choices, man. And if you can't decide, just go for both of them. Tiger fish at first and then use another perch to pull your keep net. And that's it. And what I'm doing right now would be a perfect example. Since my peak time for the Nile perch will be out soon and I've almost pulled my keep net. All I need is one unique, maybe one trophy, and that's it. Full keep net of day right there. Because sometimes players can't decide what to go for, you know? Yeah, I think I showed up here way too late, guys. Way too late. I don't mind not getting the uniques here, to be honest. I just want to have a certain number of fish in the keep net. So that's what? Three uniques now? I don't have for today's fishing. What's better for XP and I perch or tiger fish? Tiger fish is better for XP, right? But it comes down to if you don't grind them. When it comes down to buy trait and pull your kit net overall, the speed of the fish, that's not a perch. What depth and leader? No, you don't mess with leader auto. You just use the use them how they are, bro. What depth should I use at this place with float? For you going for tiger fish, Mr. Crazy? For tiger fish, I go to 60 and 30 inches. Normally, one of my rods is 60, one is 30.
if I get one more fish to bite here, I might. I slept this place and I said it, bro. What to me? You said this place, man. Come on, bro. Don't get me pissed off, bro. This man's crazy. Yeah, don't ask any stupid question, bro. Just don't do it. Like the big emperor, what? Sunny days, man. First sunny days at uh, Weeping Willow. Okay, I think I'll finish now perch until I get the best bottom rods. Or finish fish, my bad. I mean, at the same time, bro, you can fish on your boat with every chasers you have, right? And you should be good. As long as you go trolling behind them, they should not be like free spooling you, man. Come on, bro. One more fish to go. My plan is to go for Nile Perch after this. Just to pull off my keep net. I'd need one more fish though. Just one more. What time should I start a sunny day peak? At 2 p.m. And it should be good. 12 or 1 go 2 p.m. and it should be good bro you can fish from 2 p.m. and rotate to three different spots in one day and still have enough to fish after that keep in mind Otto the mix you're using bro will be giving you fast bites if not it's because of the baits you know but the mix is that good bro Uh oh, I don't think we're going to get a thousand pounds of fish right now. Crap. Let me try the peak time. Yeah. So we got $216,000 right now from a thousand pounds of tiger fish right and uh let's just say that i will have at least a hundred thousand in xp at least a hundred thousand plus xp right now at least i think so i think it's going to be at, at least that amount you know Right, all good auto you know just let me know what you think after fishing there come on come on come on yes now my question is should i go for nile perch to fill my keep net oh look at that a small unique i'll take it right at the hand bro or should I show you guys how many cash and XP I'll get for a thousand points of tiger fish? I think I'll just sell right here if I can. Wait, or should I just keep fishing, bro? The peak time is not out as yet. It's low, but it's not out as yet, bro. Maybe it's possible to get the Goliath unique. I don't know man I really want to get this thing but at the same time it's not the best time for it
a couple of my stream back in the days i have done it before in stream where i catch over 1200 pounds of tiger fish but i can't tell you guys what the name of that stream was you know it was way back then and of course i did catch all my uniques as well which make it way easier for me I just want to see that one big swirl. Come on. The live baits are still out there for them. Bro, the... So what I'm understanding, you're saying the recipe only lasts for one day. Yeah, it's only one usage, bro. One usage at a spot. When you move another spot, bro, you have to make another mix. Keep in mind, Otto. If you're moving, you won't be this. The mix won't be moving with you, bro. It's a different spot. So it's a one-time thing at each spot. It expired wait did you mix before you go to the sunny day never do that when you get to the day you mix them if you mix before it it's gonna expire as I said man fishing at Weepy Willow is really expensive not only by cash but by you doing your thing as well you know i didn't know it was a thing yeah my bad though i kind of left that one out but at the same time bro i re i didn't remember to say that you know now i have to leave what wait you didn't stack up on the base bro whenever you're fishing weeping willow man you have to stack up on those things bro yeah, after. That's what I told you. Really costly. Don't be expecting to go to Weeping Willow to make money. It's more for XP. So the amount of money you spend there, most likely you won't make it back. I thought you only said get one. No, sir. One particle, the aroma, that the aromas you can use one of each. That's what you asked me about then. And I told you those things you can use them. The particles now, the ground bait. Yeah, you have to buy multiple of those things, bro. I think this day might be it. Okay. Yeah, we feel so expensive, but I think the best place for free to play got many XP and money. Well, where is that best place, man? Where do you think? Can I skip two minutes? Okay, let's just not uh, spend any Bitcoin and wait for two minutes to pass by. Hey, chat, how many? Not how many. How much cash do you think I have from fishing with well, poppers and live baits for tiger fish? You know? I got over 200,000 for 1,000 points of tiger fish. What do you guys think the XP will be? I 
and uh, let me rephrase this you can definitely get over 1300 pounds of tiger fish here it's possible So keep in mind the money and XP for one of these fish are pretty much close. So for example, you catch a 25 pound uh, Goliath or tiger fish, the XP will be like 5,000 or so for the XP or 6k. I am full of mixed things. Just make sure to have more than one particle. Both oil cake and corn. Same thing for the the ground bait van. You have to have a couple of them, you know. Weeping willow. The place so expensive for mix, but you get what you got 60k. To a to ninety k with premium, and auto do of premium, you know. All right, D. Good luck and much love to you, bro. I take it easy, Mister Crazy, and uh, my apology for snapping earlier, bro. You know. I kind of lost my calm right there. My apology, bro. How long do aromas last? They last quite a bit, you know. You can move at least a couple of uh, rotations and you still have enough to use. I think you're hearing something, bro. Repeat the, repeat the stream, Mr. Crazy. Rewind the stream right there and let me know what to hear, Mr. Bro. What's that? Good luck. <laughs> okay, let's see what we made so far. Okay, a thousand pounds of tiger fish. 232. Thousand and one hundred forty six thousand XP. As I said, man, the best fish for XP, but it all depends on if you're down to grind them for a long time in the day, you know. Hey, trust me, man, you get way better than that, way better. If I did get those two last units I, I wanted to fish for, oh, it's over. Now imagine pulling that keep net with a few Nile perch. That's over 3,000 XP, not 3,000, 300,000 in cash and 200,000 XP right there. So if you can't go for one or the other, mix both of them together, you know. Yo, D, game to drop a like before Top Water Rodeo. Competition in a couple of minutes. Appreciate it, Bark. I was thinking about it, bro. But, you know, I don't think I'll make it, man. I did the bass challenge at Everglades earlier, and I saw you at fifth place. Hey, GG's, bro. I was there earlier. Okay, let's try one more spot right here and then we can take a break, man. Yes, sir. We've been here for a while today, you know. So I didn't get to fish this spot much, to be honest, guys, you know. So I'm going to stay here for the peak time and just fish on. If I do get enough fish within the time to move, then I'm going to do that. If not, 
going to be grinding. Because this is the only spot I've not yet caught in a unique. And that's because of, I reached her too late, you know. Top water rodeo. Damn. Hey chat, should I apply for this thing? I don't have my leaders with me and stuff, my... Yeah. Okay, let, let's give it a try guys, you know? Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's very competitive competition. Like 280 people. You know what, you know what park by the end of the, the competition? My placement was 101, bro. I finished 68. I was in the top 20. And then no fish was biting in the second half. After 45 minutes, bro. So I got skunked in the hand, you know. <clears throat> right, let's give it a shot, bro. Just for you guys in chat, you know. And my curiosity as well. I just need one rod and I'm good. Spinning rod. I'm gonna take this one off. I already applied for it so I should not be late. I started good but I got skunked out of three uniques. I got two uniques and then that's it bro. Two uniques. 11 pounder and 9. But I think if I practice more for it, I would be okay, you know? The thing is, man, I never really practiced for any competition, to be honest. I just went in there and do my thing, you know? Never actually did anything to... So yeah, I did this practice to pay off my, my work, you know? Okay, I need my patriotic walker. Wait, top water rodeo. That's one with the walkers, right? If I'm not mistaken. That is Varden Bull Trout. Yeah, yeah, I think this is the right one. If I'm not mistaken, bro. <coughs> Okay, let me see what else I have. X series. Don't I have a trophy walker as well? There, so we have everything. Just run like RW, you get better as you go. That's the thing, though, man. You know, I don't take the competition that serious, you know. Like, when I say serious, I don't really play competition that much, you know. If I feel to do them, I might do it. And that's just me. But what I'm interested in is the salt water competitions, man. Now those, oh my god, but the Congo, really? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, I think last month I did this competition. Uh... Got a couple of unique Dolly Varden Bull Trouts and then rotation wise they stop biting. So this is my second um, competition of the day today. That's what we can do, man. The tour topper? I don't think I have that one. And uh, then again, I don't have any toppers with me either. 
I only I think I mainly have like walkers, bro. Wait. Yeah. Actually, I got the topper, but it's as I said, the towards one. I don't have that one. <clears throat> Let me turn down my drag as well. I think between the what was it again? You can also use a Jolly Walker as well. I think between the X series and uh, the Patriotic Walker, they're pretty close, man. Good luck, D. I'm going in. Good luck to you as well, man. <laughs> This thing can be a really sweaty competition at times, you know, nothing bites. Sometimes nothing bites, bro. Oh, ho, ho. that could have been a trophy right there. He thought about it, you know. I do have two more rotations if I want to move as well. So, let's see. Mm. Let's step back some more. Hey chat, we might not win this one, but I'm not getting skunked today. I'm definitely catching a fish. Definitely. Wrong fish, bro. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong one. You want Dolly Varden, Bull Trouts, and uh, Pikes. A guy is called Elon Muskie. Oh, there they are. There's a fish right there. Did he? Oh, he didn't go for it. What's in the beta test? Just uh, so far what I saw was uh, no max drag, different way of um, retrieving the fish now, keep net, you know club, club lobbies, you can fish with your club members now, if it comes down to it. So not much has been revealed, but this, the ones we know so far are those ones, you know. But mainly though, what players are like, you know, confused or hyped about is the retrieval mechanism. They're not going for nothing today, huh? I've only saw one fish. And that's the bull trout. I think I've been on this game way too long, man. I haven't restarted in like five hours. From playing you know sometimes when you're just playing for that long in the game you need a good reset for things to be good any way to get the beta test on mobile 
No, sorry, so all on PC. At the moment, only PC that I know of. Ah, let's change spot, bro. This spot is dead today. We have caught no fish towards this competition today. Crazy. Oh, that's Dolly Vorden. That would be a nice one to have. I think I'd rather play both of Kane Creek than this one. This one can be really like so bad, bro. Battle of Kane Creek and uh, what's the other one? We have to catch the big snook. Snook, my bad. And the small fish, the Alaskan blackfish, bro. Those two are good to, to go for. Yeah, I'm getting smoked in this one today, yeah. Normally I would get my trophy or unique already. Something to get me up there, you know. I think this is my second or third time doing this thing. Someone left. I don't know if he's taking a re reset. What the hell, bro? This is why I don't really do much competition, man. Right spot, right baits, and it's still nothing. That's why the fish does regularly than doing competitions when I'm streaming. There you go. Choose the competitions you you like to play, you know. Okay, this is pretty much dead right here. Both spots actually. The third spot I have is not one of my best to fish. You gonna bite or you gonna miss it? <coughs> so bad, bro. Not really a fan of this composition right there. Wrong fish, lovely. Hey, sometimes you do these things, you got better luck, better RNG. I think my day is a day where I got bad luck, you know. I don't think so. I think I might move back to the bull spot to get get a unique or something. <coughs> you also got the wardens there too. Okay, let's move back. 
I always say though, the first place guy is holding his ground, man. All he gotta do now is grind some more trophies to keep it up. Why is my game freezing, bro? I'm the only one in the lobby and it's bugging out right now. Is 60 foot out okay? So when you open your map auto, look for the spots with the of course I missed it. The deep blue areas, right? Most likely that's where we're gonna be finding the carps. And the most times they're not too out they're not out too far. So just fish the spots in the video you see me go to and it should be good bro. I just missed a nice fish man. Yo yo welcome to the stream man. How are you doing so far? You remember me? Oh yeah. You're the guy from the, the, the giant stream. When I was catching those uh, ticklet mullets and they were telling me about the Congo being your best map and October River. I was there a minute ago. That's a nice unique, nice unique night perch, tigerfish, catfish. How are you? I'm doing pretty good man, come on. I'm doing pretty okay man, you know. Trying out for a competition but it's bad, really bad. Yeah, I shouldn't. I regret to leaving the Congo to do this competition, bro. <laughs> I regret doing that, man. Let me just say that. I'm going to lose all and I'm fishing at Naren River. What are you fishing for? Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, this competition sucks, bro. Really suck, man. How many fish I lost so far? That's two nice ones. I think a trophy bull trout and at least another trophy Dolly Varden right there. Both spots. Hey man. I got 16 minutes remaining, bro. I'm getting skunked right now. Come on. This might be my worst run ever in this competition. Look at this. He's going to miss it, bro. 100%. You see that crap? I could just tell. This competition has always been like this. Always, bro. Okay, you stay on, huh? Lovely. So it's called top water rodeo. Can you use like a, a buzz bait here? Because it can top water fish that thing. I wonder if that's possible. Or that's not allowed here. While you're catching small fish and missing all the big ones, bro. You know? It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. 19 pounder. <laughs> Too late for that right now.
too late for that man my time has expired so far 15 minutes and then that's when the fish want to start biting lovely the amount of fish that missed fish i missed today bro wait do we catch belugas i do catch them no one done but i'm not really a fan of belugas bro more for the wild catfish, you know, wild catfish, the hasp, zanders, yeah, those are my fish right there. Come on, there you go. Yeah, there is no way I'm passing those top five guys, nothing by the slightest chance. Yeah, he's missing it. Lovely. Your walker is so big. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> so earlier, my friend told me to use uh, a number 2 watt oak walker, right? Or topper. But I didn't have one. So maybe I need to downsize the oaks or something. The thing is though, these are the biggest, or these are the smallest walkers I have with me right now. You know? So maybe that's the way to go, smaller hook. Fish can't eat it. Oh no, I fish there tons of time with five watt hooks and they go crazy for it, bro. Crazy. The five watt hook buzz bait. I fish there a lot of time with it and they go crazy for it. The Livardin bull trout, pink salmon, O's and chums they they all go crazy for it bro <coughs> uh I might regret doing this but let's try it oh no wrong spot can you go to Africa I might go back there after, but I won't be here fishing for too long. Two million coins, no serve. I wish I had so much. Okay, this spot isn't my spot, it's um, Josh's spot, but uh, I don't really have much luck in this area, bro. Not gonna lie to you guys, not much. I'm losing my one million dollars. As long as you have the Congo to fish, bro, you should be good. That one was a Schnook Salmon right there. That wasn't going to be counted. The reason why I did this rotation, I want to see if I can form another unique, you know? Because you can. Am I lucky enough to get one? Maybe not. Let's see. Herc is doing pretty good in his competition. I haven't seen Fark getting anything so far. But that because they're in different lobbies. Can he give me 50k coins? If only that was possible, bro. If only that was possible, you know? Yeah, bro, why is fish nibbling or not biting? So, you got two reasons. The hooks could be big, they could be small fish, or you have overspent your time to that spot. So you already, you already catch those uniques, and now it's time to move on to a different spot, bro. Mm, see, nothing here so far. 
That's why I don't really fish this part right there. Never worked for me. Never, not once. I have got nothing. That's weird. I'm gonna fish it real life in real life with my dad. What the guy's gonna catch? If nothing is biting auto, you got two reasons why, maybe. The leader and the bait. The bait could be a big factor why you're not getting nothing to buy it, bro. Sweet corn and peas. Come on, man, move it. I'm back at 21 place. No way, man. <coughs> We're gonna catch Pologas, seven kilogram, seven. Is that the biggest they get up to? I don't think I can pronounce that word, man. If I pronounce it, I might say it wrong, you know? Oh my god, bro. Bite the stupid bait, man. I think I'm missing everything, bro. You know how many fish I've missed so far? There are so many Pologas and Carps. Would it be the hook? 10 out hooks should be okay, bro. But you can go down to like 8. 8 out hooks if you have them. Oh my god. I don't think I have any walker that's smaller than 3 out hooks. Let me try this, bro. They should have no problem. Bro, I'm gonna go sleep. See? To what token they missed it? Okay, get some rest, man, you know? Sorry you stopped by the stream so late. But, hey. It's what it is, man. And uh, good night to you as well, you know? Good luck. Thank you, man. But my time is over. Seven minutes in the, in the competition. It's pretty much done for. Got a unique common carp. How big was it? Do you stream tomorrow? I don't think so. But you never know, man. <laughs> Only 35 pounds. <laughs> hey, they get way bigger than that, you know? <laughs> Just keep on fishing, bro. <clears throat> Okay, bye bye, good luck. Take it easy, bro. Come on, come on. Oh, pink salmon. Won't help me. Yes, sir. I would say if I didn't miss all those fish, I could be in the 400s right now. So I think next time I will do this competition, if I decided to, I'm gonna try like a smaller hook, bro. At the same time, though, 
it doesn't matter because I've been catching these Unix and 5 watt hooks. So that shouldn't be a problem. For a minute there I was in top 10. No, I'm in top 30, if that makes sense. Uh, let's change spots. Yeah, that guy is at 800 pounds of fish, bro. Or not pounds, but I would say it's points. You go by a point, my bad. That avoiding give you points. Uh, bull trout. Come on. That was the wrong fish. And uh, pikes, they do give you points. I wish the other spot was working though, bro. That thing is not good. Well, at least for me though. The person who sent me it, they vouch for it, you know? But for me, it's otherwise. I've got only two units so far and everything else is just put in the lower. Literally just put all lower bro. Not that no that's way too big right there. I don't think so. I left my sweet, sweet night perch and tiger fish for this crap right there. Not worth it, man. Okay, that's not a miss again. Alright, come on, bro. I've missed over 100 fish so far in this competition. 100 of them. For the pound the unit letter. Yeah, I think it might be the bait, bro. I think it might be the bait. So 
so you can research for a different uh, recipe that might work with the base you have right now but my mix you might have to have that uh, Maruchi palm fruit or the Jawari palm fruit to use with it bro rubber tree seed is not bad either but you're not at the right level to get those things <coughs> okay so we didn't get skunked but I missed tons of fish bro it's crazy how they go for the baits but miss them back to back as well yeah this competition sucks bro bad What do we want me to get? Yo, you can't get the right things, bro. The right baits, you're missing the right baits, man. Okay, what time is it right now? I'm gonna go back to the Congo, <coughs> finish up on some fish, and then calling it right there. No way I'm ending my stream on a, on a hell today in competition. No, sir. You say I could put something in my mix? No, sir. I say you can try something that different mix. That you're able to use with the baits that you have right now. Let's see what you can do. Should I end with a tiger fish or a night perch? I have no idea. And it's been six hours too. So I really need to take a break, man. What peak time do we have right now? Yeah, I think night perch is the best bet right now. My tiger fish. Uh, peak time is nowhere to be found right now. Yes, sir. Uh, let me remove this. Let's fully skip night and call it today. I literally can go back to Connie Creek and use those same lures I've been using and catch tons of unique bull trots in Dolly Varden. Unix and trophy. In the competition? No sir. You can't do that. Right, let's go. And it's up with some Unix today, bro. So in total we caught bass, catfish, I perch, salmon, trout. We we catch everything today, man. It's like a, a day of everything in one, you know. Damn bro. For the for the pond trophy mirror carp. So no unique as yet, man. That's crazy though. And that's why I said auto don't buy too much stuff to go there. Because right now you just go in there to see or it's gonna be going for you. So I'm hoping that you're actually paying attention to what's going on. If you don't have the right stuff to go to Weeping Willow, it won't matter much, you know. 
won't work it. Uh, let's do this. Got TTP guy in the lobby. Might be streaming. All right, fish on. Nothing big though. I don't think it is. Nice trophy. I might be able to rank up today as well. But it is not a perch. Definitely. Yeah, I never fished on the left side of the buoy before. That spot is just... I don't really fish there. I'd rather fish on the right side of the buoy than the left side. I wonder how Fork is doing in this competition. Oh, we missed that fish. Another one. So Otto, you don't have any type of fruit baits, bro? You haven't unlocked any as yet? So I'm just looking for a few uniques and basically to fill my keep nut. Any one of those or either both of them would be good. That's the way I'm ending it today. Oh my god bro, the misses. 70 point mirror carp. There you go, that's not bad. My two favorite spots for, we for Weeping Willow is by Cave Lake and Arbor Lake, bro. Those are my two spots to fish when it comes on to using the mix. Yeah, this is under 150 right here. Why is it so dark, bro? It's sunny morning. It is, and this place is super dark right now. And my screen at least. Then again, I don't think the sun rises up as yet. It should be though.
158, bro. Crazy. <clears throat> Come on, show me something. So we got one trophy so far. The unique should not be way behind that. And of course you can catch more than one trophy in one spot. But most times it will be a unique right behind it. Or up next, you know. Now that was my worst top water rodeo match ever bro. For that one. Oh ho ho, where is he? That was my worst one ever, bro. <coughs> my other two I had was way better than that. I got my nice unique Deli Varden Bull Trout. And from there on out, everything started biting and missing, bro. Yeah. I think if I didn't miss all those fish fork, I could be in the 400s, bro. Maybe the 500s. I think I ended with 300 points or 340, if I'm not mistaken. The biggest problem I have with it is the miss bites, bro. I hate that and even when I switch to like a towards oak they still miss the lower which makes no sense how did he do I end up with 500 even flat oh damn bro hey the first place guy when I left was at 800 I wonder how he finished like how many did he finish with? Yeah, that's the thing with top water. I don't know, man. I've used a couple of top water lures in just regular fishing. And I don't really miss that much bite when it comes down to it. I was getting like back to back bites and they were like misses. I'm telling you like big trophy Dolly Varden bro. I'm telling you man it's all on the stream man. And they just right in the lower nibble on it and then nope goodbye. Wait Dutch is still here? What's good man? Bro, honestly, Fork, I'm surprised I even get a bite, to be honest, bro. I'm surprised, man. <laughs> I wrote it three spots. Two spots give me one unique. And you could get more from both of them. But they're all biting misses, bro. You 
you need the right bait man that's that's a problem auto still here but it's late yeah it's pretty late for me as well you know after i fully skip that maybe catch a, a few uniques i'm gonna call it right there So any more competition for the night fork or you know evening for you what's going to be next move is it uvo welcome to the stream man and uh my bad if i said it wrong you know you have to learn the rotation for the rodeo also. Yeah, I got three spots for the rotation. <laughs> hey man, let me just say something guys. You know, if you guys want to go get some rice, hey, then do it man, you know. Get them Z's man. That might be all for me today. Yeah, honestly, man, I wasn't prepared to be here this long today, but I am. Should I rotate? Most likely, if nothing's biting, bro, just move from that spot to a different one. New mix, and just keep fishing, bro. It's almost one hour in the game and I've not yet caught a unique. That's crazy. Yeah, it's like the Biton miss is cursed, has cursed me, you know? It's like that's for me right now on this map. I'm getting the bites, but they're not staying on there. What the hell is going on? The top water rodeo has cursed me, man. No, that's a bite right there. There you go. Hey, back in the days, guys, when Nile Perch was in their prime, bro. They used to come closer to the, 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 the bow of the boat and just make one big strike on the lower. And that thing used to sink the boat and bounce right up, right up back, you know? Like, you could actually see the boat bouncing when they strike. I haven't experienced that in a long time lately. After Arbor, where should I go? Cave Lake. Gotta watch the video for the spots, Auto. I can't show you them right now, but they're in the videos, you know? So Arbor Lake, Cave Lake, and uh, where's the other one? I think it's by a fishery or something like that. He's grinding tiger fish. But I think his rise are pointing the wrong direction. One is okay though. Okay, this fish should put us at at least 800. Or 700 plus pounds right there. Wait, what kind of DLC is he wearing right now? The shirt? What's that from? 
I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yellow and blue. I don't think I've seen that jersey before in the game. Come on in Nile Purge, stop playing with me bro. Alright, he's going to take me around, give me a tour. He's my tour guide, you know. There you go, you're finally given. 375. Oh, it smokes, bro. My smallest one of the day today. But we're moving on. Pulling this cute net. And we have ranked up as well. Yes, sir. Give me those big coins, man. How much big coins do we have right now? 126. So we're practically back. Not quite. We are left off. I was at 128. Whoa. I think something is wrong with my game, bro. Something is definitely off. Not sure what. I think I need to restart my console. Uh oh. Just missed the fish. I notice everyone is grinding tiger fish right now. And I do think the reason for that is their equipment. Oh, come on, bro. The moment I did that, something went for the bait. I think their equipments are not high enough to fish here. As I suspected, bro. Exactly. And uh, then again, tiger fish are the best fish for XP here, you know. So, they're going to be going after those fish more. But I think I'll prefer going for Nile Perch though. Just because I prefer to fish faster. Or I just mix both of them together. When it comes on to leveling up, I do think the faster you get to fish, the better it is for you. I do think that way. But I, uh, you got two different fish, that means two different choices to make, man. Letter D. And chat, see you next stream. Okay, Dutch, take care, get some rest, man. <laughs> I'll see the next one, you know. Yeah, I'm heading off right after doing my business here, pulling my cube net, a couple more uniques if possible. What the hell is going on, bro? Everything is just missing right now. Until the next one, man.
bro i'll be so disappointed if they did something to this map right now and after the salt water map update got released most likely though something's gonna change about this map I don't think there ever been a new update or a new map in the game without them doing something to the previous map that's the best after or before not after before that Three fourteen. Oh my God, bro! I haven't caught a small unique like this in such a long time. Hey, I will take the unique though. A unique is a unique, man. Let me just say that. All right, one more fish to do it, guys. One more unique, but most likely I'm catch a trophy. I would fish up this spot, but it might take me a while to get the unique here. Uh oh. I still got everybody the tiger fish fishing right now. You know the spot. Tigers and Goliath, the main spot right there. That's what you can get there. Hey, before I stop streaming today, I just want to say to everyone right now watching, I appreciate y'all watching up until this time, you know. And of course, for everyone who was here before. They can't see me right now, but I do appreciate them being here as well. Warmonger, welcome to the stream, man. Hey, I'm fishing this part right now. I'm doing the second half of the Mbenga challenge where you got to collect five tigers, three trophies, one unique, and just got two more regular ones. Were you fishing this part for tiger fish? Or the spot I passed earlier. The night perch are fun to catch. Super XP for big ones too. Yeah, you know, as I said earlier, I'm not sure you were here, but I choose to have faster bites than just sitting there, you know. So I choose to grind night perch over tiger fish. But well, sometimes both is good as well. That way you don't have to spend hours in one day grinding. You spend at least one peak time. That's a full keep net for the tiger, I mean the Nile perch. You move on, you know. No time spent, and no time been wasted bro. You're good to go, ready for the next one. Wait, this exact spot I know you can fish across over there by those rocks but here for tiger fish not sure okay we need one more fish to go man to make it official 
is 5.24 still good? For what? For the, the aromas? Your yeah, one pick time fills my keep that easy. Mine is ready to 925 pounds. Oh, you just need at least two Unix then a year over. Keen at full, you know. 524, yeah, you can keep for Sean. But if you can skip peak times, auto, I will skip peak times to the sunny day again, bro. You know. Come on, man. At least a trophy would be nice for me to pull this skip net. That's all I want to do. And then that's it, man. Let me do three speed. Yeah, one peak time and I have with over 100k easy facts the Congo is still the best you know I can I can say that still I have noticed though sometimes the fish uh, the bite slow but it could just be the peak time and I haven't been fishing here lately so who knows what could have changed by then. So far though, pretty much everything's the same. Tiger fish, catfish, Nile perch, I do have a few questions though. What's this? I think this is a trophy. And uh, Warmonger, I do see a white team in your name, bro. So, do you stream Fish and Planet or any other game? I don't mind having this one trophy right here. Hopefully, it is done. Yeah, that's seen to it on a slow retrieve of the Congo in my experience. Honestly, I have fished this day tons of times, Sunday morning, and by now, I should have had at least, my bad, I should have had at least four unique so far, you know, but today seems a little bit different, and at the waterfall, the unique should have took me less time to get there, but it took me a few casts, a trophy, and a few young ones. So I'm not going to say anything as yet, where it's going to be like, you know, anything bad. But I don't recall of this map being that slow when it comes down to Nile Perch. I stream Apex Legend, sometimes I haven't streamed in a while. I mean, hey, it's never too late, you know. But why don't you stream Fish and Planet though? Think about it sometimes, you know? Okay, guys, this will be it right here, man. Oh my god, bro. Everything is so small today. Wait, it wasn't? That wasn't it? No shot, bro. 26 pound unique. Leather carp. New PR, bro. Uh oh. I thought that trophy would be the fish for me to end it right there. It wasn't, though. Alright, anything that bites gonna be it you know trophy unique regular one doesn't matter
I just hope it's not too late to get something to buy it, bro. I don't know, I just don't think about it, man. When I open Fishing Planet, I feel like I'm eating a real life fishing trip. Hello? I don't even think about it. <laughs> and that's the thing, though, you know? It's like real life fishing. So, you know, sharing that experience with, you know, with your viewers out there could be a thing, man. Think about it. Because if you stream, then, you know, it's a possibility for you. I can easily skip to the last peak time as well and fish on, but I don't want to do that. It is the best fishing game I've played so far for sure. Yeah, I will have to give it a go for sure. Yeah, think about it, man. Honestly, this is my first and only fishing uh, simulator game I have played. And it's done the best one so far for me, you know? The other fishing games out there that are popular are on PC. I'm, I'm on console, so I can't really say for them. But this one is the one for me, you know. It's been the one. Oh my, it's a catfish, bro. Why Why could I just tell it's going to be something like that, bro? Hey, a new PR? <laughs> a unique? Hey, what else could you ask for, bro? Give me some sunlight, boy. Yes, sir. Well, I said anything, and that's it right there. I was not expecting a catfish, though. Definitely not. Okay, guys, you know what time it is, man. How long have you been here for? Nice sunrise in the, in the background right there. Uh, let's see Six hours 45 minutes we've been here. I haven't streamed this long in a long time Yeah, I played Rapala or Bass Pro Shop fishing games a while back and they weren't near They weren't near as good as this one I heard about Rapala, but uh, let's just say back then I did not have any console to play on you know So I didn't experience that game before but I heard good news about it before though. Okay. Gonna leave this map. Because after stream, while I'm not streaming, well, it won't be right now, but on my free time, I'll be doing guides. So I won't be here to do those guides. Not on this map. Okay, we're back at 23 mil. So we're not really gaining and we're not really losing much, you know? We're staying right in the neutral zone. Okay, okay, it's time to take a break, man. And I think y'all deserve a break as well, you know? You guys been here? Well, at least... A few, few of you guys been here from the start of the stream until now, you know, and I appreciate that, truly. I will tell you guys I wouldn't be here doing this right now, you know. Have a good one, bro. Same to you, man. Hey, and stop by the stream sometimes again, you know. Matter of fact, whenever you go live to, to stream Fishing Planet, I might be there. I just subscribed, you know. I wanna see I wanna see what you can do sometimes, you know. Let's see. Yeah, you just get my sub bro. Hopefully when you go live I can stop by sometimes. 
so to wrap up everything right now conclude it you know we came here today or I should say I came here today and uh, the main thing for today's stream was me just talking about the new beta testing what I saw so far you know we talked about it quite a lot today I got to know you guys opinion I share mind minds my bad and you know I can see that some players might not be up for the change but then again you know you never know what's gonna happen so anything I say today can happen it may happen and they may change things today so we just gotta wait to see what's gonna be the update when it's gonna be I have no idea so that's something still we're not able to find out you know with that said though other than that we came here we got some nice uniques did a couple of competitions today as well they weren't that good let me just say that you know or should I say I wasn't that good for them either ways man I appreciate y'all stopping by today's stream just watching being here having conversation and to everyone who fished with me today as well a few friends were in the lobbies you know shout out to them and shout out to you guys as well but with that said man I think I deserve a break and you guys deserve a break as well so y'all stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one peace